and good night everyone good night good night to you and yours you're listening to 93.1 fm and i'm norbert williams with you for another episode of keeping it real tonight's episode is episode number what champagne 24 24 seems like only 24. yesterday that's right oh my goodness seems like only yesterday yeah 24 and it's been a bit of a rainy day in st lucia today down south denry miku sufre up north mm. we've been having rain off and on not too heavy that's right just uh, keeping the ground wet that's right good for the plants good for the plants that's right well folks <clears throat> good evening to you today is tuesday the fourth day of december that's right, December, the month of Santa Claus, month of Santa Claus, and everybody's beginning to get into the scheme of things mm-hmm. for the holidays, and um, tonight is going to be a bit of a reflecting on the year, kind of, but what's looming over the horizon, folks, is, of course those of you who've been paying attention to the news and have been paying attention to what's been happening locally for a little while now. A lot of bravado talk. You like that word, Champagne? I see you smiling. Bravado talk. Bravado. Sounds like Spanish. Well, maybe it is. (laughs) Maybe it is. Folks, I'd like to say a special good night to all of you tuning in right now, especially our listeners online. They're already popping in. I'd like to say a special good night to our listeners in St. Lucia. George Cooper Road, Champagne. Yeah. Um, one listener. Piero, mm-hmm. Viewfort down by the square. That's right. Babano should be in the house by now. Babano's in the house. That's right. Thanks yeah. for reminding me, boy. Somebody said that um, their parents, mm-hmm. mother and father, listen to Keeping It Real every Tuesday night. Oh, yeah. And I didn't give them a shout out last week. Oh, you have to do that. So I'm, I'm, I've been put on notice champagne. So our listeners out there in Babono, Babono and Bobono. Bobono. A special good night to you. My listeners in Bonte at Cap Estate, Redwee, Leslie Land, Bishop's Gap. I have a buddy of mine who. Yeah. Listens to the show every week. He sends me a message. Are we on tonight? That's right. Say yes. And I haven't heard anything from my um, traveling friend who tunes in from all parts of the world every Tuesday night. He's somewhere else. What about our Mexican friend? Is he, is he on or she Well, yet? I haven't seen a Mexican friend yet. Yeah, but, but maybe uh, uh, Buenos Noches. That's right. Uh, nuestros amigos <laughs> en México. <laughs> You like that, champagne? <laughs> you know, you, I've been speaking Spanish around here long enough. You um, should be able yeah, I'm to see. Up, And you were in Cuba for a little while. So what's the problem? Things. I'm picking up a few words. You know, I'm very disappointed in you. Well, I've, I've be. been trying. No, don't be. I'm picking up a few words. I'll just put it all together. And then I'll come here and just give it out. But I hear it's a national day coming up. Mm-hmm. And um, Festival of Lights. Yep, yep. And it's carols. Oh, yeah. And it's going to be big. They're trying to re bring back all the activities we used to have. Well, Remember good, when we were kids yeah. growing up, they used to... They well, I think that. I heard something about Greasy yeah. Pole. Yeah, I just played that a moment. Yeah, I heard yeah. something about Greasy Pole and I heard mm. you're going to be one of the guys at the base of that pole. No, no, that could not happen. How do you mean? No, with that, no. With those so guys, what's going to be at the top there? They're going to have hams or, or Denros really, Bounty Rum or no, what? you remember back in the day it was just a, a, a Denros Bounty and a ham. ham. But this yeah. time, they're going to be a phone up there a real oh, really? expensive phone. Really? There's going to be... Where is it going to be? In the on gardens? The, on, at the gardens, yeah. Just the fifth part. That's, is it going to be on the concrete or what? No, well, it's going to be... you see right outside the bus station on the inside of the Just the, the fifth Park. There's yeah. a huge area there. Yeah. Right next to the court. That's where we're going to be having it. Yeah. So it's going to be really nice. It's going to be really exciting. And I know St. Lucians are looking forward to getting, getting all that greasy pole and greasy pig back into National Day. Oh, I bet you like the pig part of it. Boy, the pig part is the most the exciting pork, part. That's the best part, the oh, pork. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's going to be good. So you're going to be greased up as well or you're going to be be sanded down? You know what? I prefer to be just a spectator this time. Maybe <laughs> next year. <I'm> <laughs> well, <laughs> so you out of practice or what? Out of form. <laughs> oh, hold on there. Yeah. Good night to our friend mm-hmm. in Miku. 
Oh yes, Miku is always. You mustn't in the forget house. that. I have some people down in Viewfort. Yes, sir. Who are listening as well? Mm-hmm. All around Viewfort. You, we have mm-hmm. quite a few listeners. A lot of you listeners. know, yesterday I was down in Viewfort. Mm-hmm. Uh, went to the airport. Yeah, my friend told me you passed that. Is yeah, it? and I just heard no, but. Yes, right. Like, who the hell is calling me there? It's the <laughs> buddies, the guys yeah, from the guys down know, there. Of course, the guys know you. Guys yeah. down there, man. So, I just give right. them a shout out a minute ago before you came in. Well, let me tell you something, man. You know, it really is amazing, the power of radio. Very powerful. And the people who, just on the weekend, mm-hmm. um, I was up at that graduation, um, Sir Arthur Lewis Community College's mm-hmm. graduation on Sunday. Right. And quite a number of people came up to me and said that they really enjoyed the show. I, I was blown away. Yeah. I mean, you know there are people out there, but you never really people fully listen. appreciate it until it's people start. It's not about bragging rights. I no, drive no. around and I no, walk it's around. Um, it's really people, something else. People come up to me and they say, you guys are doing a good job. You know, I just, you know, you know, I'm just doing this. You know, get the information out there. Have a logical, you know, reasonable explanation or discussion right. about things people mm-hmm. call in and they talk and you think that's it you know you get out of the studio and then you move on and mm-hmm. whatever but you know you're walking about or you go different places up north down south wherever what I, think, I, I don't know people what i think people like about the show is there's no fabrication there's no propaganda everything you come with you have documents with proof uh, i'm, so, like I'm sorry to interrupt you yeah i just got a message mm-hmm. Your number one fan is on. Wow. And that's from the Entrepo area. Oh, boy. Independent city. And oh if boy. you don't say goodnight, I will divorce you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> well, listen, you have to give a wow. big shout out. Well, big shout you out. have to give a big a shout big out. Shout out. Mm-hmm. To, to our people in, in Entrepo and Independent city. city. That's right. We have All a lot around of people there. from there, listen. Yeah, a no, down, down um, Leslie Land Road. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Some people down there too. And I was telling you about the Sunday, mm-hmm. and um, you know the people who came up and said, you know, I really like the way how you all, you know, explain things and discuss and That's you, right. you, you, your, your analysis of mm-hmm. the information, and you break it down so we can understand it much better and, that and is right. make a decision about it. That is right. You know, I find too many of of the shows, and even when they interview persons, whether it's in government or with yeah. regards to whatever is being discussed that they they tend to speak on their own level right and the hosts of the show themselves don't even break it down yeah. but right here we break it of down course. there's of the course. analysis of the paralysis that is right. as i say here that is right. so at the end of the show everybody understands you don't want to hear about you know when the phytotic lease and and the you you go to the KMZ our states yeah. and whatever. What the what is hell? that? What, what, the, are you, what, what are is they he talking, talking about? about? You know, you <laughs> guess in right. in your mind. You know, yeah. there's no such thing as KMZ our states. Yeah, I know. I just, know you just make something. Yeah, up. yeah, yeah. Which is good. And, and a lot of people walk up to me and they say, "Listen, brother, no, but breaks down everything so we could understand." This is that is the good part of this show. Well, that's good. That's you good. still have not found your friend there from uh, Mexico, not yet. No, I haven't seen Mexico. You didn't give us a lot of Spanish tonight, man. You only gave us one little line, man. Say hello to the people over there in Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico is not on? (laughs) We have Puerto Rico there? Puerto Rico is not... Hold on, let me have a look here. Not yet? No, Puerto Rico is not on yet. We have one, two, three, four. Four from Kingstown. No, it is not Kingstown. St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Mm -hmm. We have Grenada. We have Trinidad and Tobago, Barbados. Martinique for the France. Martinique. We have eight... Eight, wow. Eight uh, logged in from Fort de France, Martinique. I say something in French then. You had to, had to shout, give a shout Bonjour, out. bonjour pour les amis et les écoutes, if I could make up a French word. Les écoutes. Les écoutes. À Martinique. Bonsoir, Bonsoir Martinique. Bonsoir, Martinique. Martinique. Yes, sir. Good night, St. Vincent. Good night, Trinidad. Good night to Trinidad. Atlanta, Georgia is on. I know who that is. Good night mm. to you. London, England, it's what, one o'clock, uh, midnight, one o'clock yeah, in the morning right. over there. Mm-hmm. So somebody is still up in yeah. London, England. Well, they want to know what's going on here in St. Lucia. That's right, that's right, <clears throat> that's right. Toronto, Canada just logged on. We have three, four, Toronto, Canada, we have Ottawa. Yep, Ottawa. Good night to you in Ottawa. 
What about Piero? You have anything? You don't forget our people down there. Piero, I, you Piero have was one of the first oh, that I shout, Piero? come on, oh, man, oh, champagne. Oh, You're not I, paying attention. I miss man. Piero. I miss yeah, Piero. Good night, on. Piero. That's right. <laughs> you, uh, tonight, we want to get a call from Piero. Yeah. We got to get a call from Piero. Of course, we know I'm our buddy down there, the salty fella. That's right. That oh, guy who's not right. sweet is salty. <laughs> <laughs> I know he's listening. Yeah, he's a good kind of salt, though. <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> Too much salt, salt too much salt is not good too for you. Too much of salt is not good. That's, That's right. right. So sometimes you got to take a break, you know. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, folks, yeah, it's been a little bit of a rainy day today here in St. Lucia. And, um, you know, I love rainy days. It just makes you feel so, you know. It's, it's makes you want to stay calms, down, calms you down, you know, mm -hmm. calms you down a little bit. But, you know, let me just get into, into the things that I want to get into tonight. Or at least... What's on the mind of so many people? And of course, you know, it's going to be the politics again because everybody's, everybody's an expert nowadays, especially when they're on social media. You know, you have, <laughs> I got a message from somebody up, Mon Fortune or De Mon. Yes, they said, okay, good. Um, you know, nowadays with social media, whether it's Facebook or whatever of the other platforms that be, even with um, WhatsApp and um, Instagram and all the others, whatever gram and whatever book, all of a sudden now you find people who, without an ounce of experience or one lick of knowledge in anything, or whatever they're talking about, the suddenly experts. They will cull information from websites or other people and complain more philosoph than anybody else. They have more degrees and they're more qualified than anyone. Of course, you can come to logical conclusions, but too often you hear and you see the nonsense. That's what it is, nonsense on social media and you can tell from the moment that you read it or you hear it it's absolute balderdash baloney folks tonight i want to talk about the proposed vote of no confidence in the government in the prime minister and as far as i'm concerned that's just a bunch of nonsense this, it, you see, the logical question to ask then is what is the foundation for this vote of no confidence in the Prime Minister? Is it just to satisfy a number of howling folks out there who predicted, just for the sensationalism of it all, that we will have a new Prime Minister by December? Hey folks, there ain't going to be no new Prime Minister. I'm going to have the same Prime Minister throughout this term. Mm -hmm. And the next. And the next. Mm -hmm. And more than likely the one after that. That's right. Right? We ain't going to have no new Prime Minister. St. Lucia is not in any state of being to justify or to quantify any vote of no confidence in the Prime Minister of St. Lucia. Ho oh, ho. I just got a note here from Bermuda. I'm listening. You know who that is. You know who that is. <laughs> and what's going to happen when that vote finally comes to the House, whenever it comes, is that it will be well and truly flogged. You see the same way how the British gave Philip J. Pierre, leader of the opposition, a grand souffle mm -hmm. when he sent that letter up to the British with regards to the appointment of Guy Mears as St. Lucia's High Commissioner in London. Well, what's going to happen in the House when this comes up there is going to be a million times more embarrassing than that. Folks, there's no foundation for a vote of no confidence. The government is fixing the roads. That way, in a dismal state when they got into office. The dam is finally being desilted after a 66% increase in the rates and 
a 10%, what's it, levy, desilting levy, with absolutely nothing happening. The dam is on the way now and is proposed because of all of that neglect. A project to take 10 years. Can you believe that? Can you believe that? 10 years. 10 years project to diesel the dam. The depth of the dam, from what I understood when I visited there some time ago, a few months ago, supposed to be, the, the, the depth of the water is supposed to be 90 something feet, right? From the surface all the way down. That's the amount of water that the dam is holding back there. In terms of depth. Right. Yeah. Currently, or at that time, the depth of the water was about nine, 20 feet. Imagine that. Can you imagine 70 feet of silt imagine and that. dirt because of neglect? So, you have a vote of no confidence in that. You didn't do it, but this government is doing it. Yeah. You have a vote of no confidence because of what? The road works, but, but they were in much more terrible state and work is being done now. Mm -hmm. You were crying about the 150 per gallon levy that the government has instituted. That's doing the work now. Mm -hmm. And although the roads are not perfect, no. No, they're, no. Being, they're being readied for the major works to that come. are to come that is right. on the roads around St. Lucia. I think something about $300 million of road works. Mm -hmm. You have a problem with that? You have a vote of no confidence. When you all were in office, you didn't do anything with the airport. The airport's on stream to start in January next year. Mm -hmm. Where's the vote of no confidence? That's a lot of confidence. Mm -hmm. Five years, almost, you all were in office. You couldn't deliver on St. Jude's. You had multiple dates. The price kept rising and rising and rising. This government has already started works, what, a week, two weeks ago now? Mm -hmm. Heavy equipment is on site. Clearing up has begun on the site. And I'm sure by January, work should commence. Mm -hmm. You have a two and a half percent reduction in that. Right. Hold, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> You're calling a vote of no confidence in yeah. the government, in the prime minister, because if you have a vote of no confidence in the prime minister, it's basically the government. Mm -hmm. So you were unable to complete the hospital. This government is underway now with works commencing on the hospital. You have no confidence vote in that? You had a naming ceremony on the 21st of February 2016. A whole big flash to mm -hmm. name the hospital. I heard $100,000 was spent. Yep, that's what I heard too. $100,000 plus. Imagine that. Right? More or less. And, okay, you did nothing after that. This government has phased the move into, okay, you I think there are three or four departments from Victoria Hospital now mm -hmm. operating out of OKEU, yeah. comparing that to the nothing that you all did, mm -hmm. you tell me that you have a no vote of confidence in that? Mm -hmm. So if you have a vote of no confidence in what the government is doing now, what vote of whatever do you have in yourself? Mm -hmm. A vote of failure? <laughs> That's it. A vote of dismal failure? Mm -hmm. You know, this, I mean, the evidence is there. Some people are just, you know, some, you see the problem, folks, is that too many people out there have not gotten over the whipping that they got at the last elections. The whipping that Spider Montooth gave. Good night, you're on the air. Let's keep it real. Love it. Good night, sir. Good night, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. And who am I speaking with? Well, you don't have to say, but you can declare yourself. Go ahead. You have too many phones in that place there. I, I know that voice sounded familiar just for a second. There. You can turn down your radio caller. Okay. Hello? One more time. Okay, something's going on. Yes. So anyway, I, I think I know who that was. <laughs> you know, when you talk about certain people's things, they get on right away. Um, anyway, um, but that's good. Maybe we could ask a few questions of this individual if he calls back. Um, you know, I, I, I just don't understand it. 
Viewfort was referred to as the New Frontier in 1998. The New Frontier. When nothing was done. Nothing, nada in Viewfort. But folks, I want you to listen to something because the dismal failure that was Viewfort, the dismal failure as far as I'm concerned of Kenny Anthony down there. And I think, I, I, I suspect there's a great deal of fear in Kenny Anthony right now because he realizes the development that is coming to Viewfort in such a short space of time. And who knows, maybe that's why they're so adamant about trying to get this government out of office. But the number of years that Kenny Anthony remained in office, and you know a lot of people will say, oh, you're making it up, or you're just hopping on Kenny Anthony, or like to bash Kenny. It's not bashing Kenny. The record is speaking. Kisa Ife Viefor. The new frontier. If you're talking about a part of the island, an area as the new frontier, well, the new frontier, the expression means that people are moving into there to develop, to, to do whatever it is. The new frontier usually refers to new lands that people are moving to, to exploit, to explore. You will live it. You know, when, when in the days of the cowboys and Indians, when you're moving west into the new frontier, the gold, the rush. gold, the gold rush, there gold you go, rush. Champagne. Right, you know, I don't rush. care what they say about you, Champagne. <laughs> you are right. You get in the queue as well. <laughs> Good night. You're on the air. Let's keep it real. Good night, Mother. Good night. Oh, I thought I made, I thought I made out the voice a while ago. <laughs> Good night. I think you're going to do a great job. Thank, well, thank you very much. I think you're doing a great job. Can you turn down your radio, caller? Can you turn down your radio, please? Yes. Okay. Thank you for calling. Hello? Yes, I'm sorry. There seems to be some delay. However, I heard you speaking, and I got a bit curious as to... Something which concerns me deeply, and that is the road. Well, I'm glad we were saying something good about you. <laughs> <laughs> well, yes, we we were talking about the roads. Um, a number of people have commented about the the patching, the pothole work that is being done around the island, and especially in the north. I mean, I drive on the roads every day, and. They have been, I mean, you could almost close your eyes and know where the holes are. And some areas have gotten so bad that you get away one, you know, just like that Calypso. Yeah, get, get away, away on, sa on tour. Tour, you know, yeah. you, you, all over the place. And even when it was yesterday evening, I think it must have happened during the day, I'm not sure. The San Susi Bridge, you know, the, the, the expansion yeah. joint there. Mm -hmm. They... they all how they it's feel that it always has a hole there when you're going over. Yeah. And yesterday I just went over and it was smooth. Mm -hmm. So I'm sure that's the that's a, an example of a lot of the work that you all are doing. So tell me what what ministry is responsible for that? What what section of the ministry and where you all have been doing works and what the plans are for the roads around the island or at least where the work is being done? Okay. Well, we are with the Ministry of Infrastructure. And basically, my unit is in charge of what all is the road around the island. And what unit and is that? What's the unit called? The potholing unit. Potholing unit, okay. So, you basically, drive around the island and ensure that roads, especially major areas, are cured. Mm -hmm. We focus on the city roads, but our main concern is the East Coast. West Coast, the Catches Gazette Highway, uh -huh. where we get the bulk of traffic on a daily basis. Right. So we attempt to ensure that such roads are drivable mm -hmm. with little or no bottles whatsoever. Mm -hmm. And as they come about, we are made aware of it one way or the other through people calling and telling us right. to our right. drive by or whatever the case may be. We attempt to cure it immediately or shortly thereafter. 
Okay, so let me ask you a question, just to jump in here for a moment, because I'm sure lots of people are listening regarding and, and, and very curious about the roads, because some people may not be pleased about not getting to them quickly enough. I mean, everybody wants it done right away, and I can understand that. But, um, and I know you're ignoring the road near my house deliberately, but we're going to talk about that some other time. Okay? Um, what is the number that drivers or citizens can call to make a report about a pothole that they would like repaired? Because I haven't heard of, of any number. Um, I know the ministry is there. And maybe most people don't even think about doing that, calling in. But you do have a number and you do have somebody who records these complaints. Is that correct? Well, they can call the ministry directly mm -hmm. and report any issue at all. However, me being in charge of such a unit, if they wish to, they can reach me at 730-5183. 730-5183, and that's Ty Roberts. Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. I'll certainly make a note of it, and I will look into it and see how quickly we can get that job, depending on the situation, the severity, and the other areas that we have to pay attention to. Mm -hmm. Okay. All now, right. <clears throat> Brother Ty, I want to jump in there. That's your buddy, Champagne. How are you doing? <laughs> Um, how are you? I'm great. Now, I want to say hey, something. Ty, you know everybody, man. Ty, Ty is a, a famous guy. <laughs> I, I want to... That you pull, you know, I, my that's right. That's right. <laughs> Last week, I was trying to get back into town. I, I went up north at about 8 o'clock, and I was trying to get back here to do my morning show program. But it was... Listen, that traffic was so bad. So I did the back road. You know that back road that leads into Maricel? Yes. That's behind glass. And let me yeah. tell you something. The amount of people that use that back road, and there were yeah. some huge potholes. So some I, craters. Yeah, craters. Oh, my goodness. These were not just holes. And I had the luxury, I had the opportunity to call in to the Ministry of Infrastructure, and they had that road all patched up. I took care of this. I took care of this right yes, away. Seriously. And I just want to congratulate or commend you guys on that, because that back well, road is huge. Well, thank you. Is used. In addition to this, uh -huh. we went up to VSC Quay because we understand also people use that that's another road people will go through when yeah. the highways are jammed. Yeah, yeah. And we took care of this. So, although we do the actual main roads, which I mentioned earlier, we look at the other so-called secondary roads that are usually busy that people use as another means of access. Yeah, yeah. And if I may say something, I mean, I'm not taking anything from my buddy's program. The Bocas Road and the back of Mondidon is huge every day, heavily. A lot of people use that road. You know that, that, that concrete road that comes up through Union? And yes. then you come up yes, through yes. Mondidon, goes back where we are right now in Bocas. Yes. This road is so vital. People use that road every day to get down to the southern part of the island. But when you get to Bocas, the road is a little rough there. Maybe you guys should look into the Bocas. There's a little we stretch are, we there. We actually went cleaning the drains and clean mm. the bridges there today, Champagne. All right. And hopefully, before the week is over, early right. to next week, yeah. we'll be dealing with whatever issues they have. Beautiful, so my we'll brother. We'll it and we'll begin working in that Beautiful. area. Beautiful, Beautiful, my brother. All right, my brother. Be back with brother now, but... Well, that's, well, well, that's very good to hear. I'm sure a lot of... Uh, the road users, especially the minibus drivers, are very pleased about um, what you're saying and the work that's being done. And uh, we'd like to commend you all on the good work, especially, I mean, the responsiveness mm -hmm. of Ty and Quick. his team, Quick. especially after that storm yeah. a few months ago, two months ago, oh, yeah. almost two three months, months mm -hmm. ago. And um, people were calling in here, talking about the roads that had uh, down trees or were blocked. And in no time... Ty and his crew would be listening in the trucks on the road. They'd listen to the call and head right there. And in a few minutes, we get a call and say the road is yes, sir. is clear. So you guys definitely on the ball, you efficient in what you're doing. And we'd like to congratulate you and, and, and implore you to continue the good work because I'm sure the motorists are very pleased about the work that's being done. Well, that's what I think. Thank you very much. And, and before and you leave, you must, I'm just, sorry. Just before right. you leave, Brother Ty, there's a huge pothole. I almost forgot that one. Down in Cul de Sac, just before you get on the left side, if you're going towards the western part of the island, just before. Brother Champagne, I'm sorry to tell you, uh -huh. Mr. Bevel, that that huge, so called huge pothole is no more. I took care of it um, today. today. I took care of it yesterday, actually. Oh. <laughs> Because I, I saw that the road there. I saw it there on Saturday. It's so right of the middle of the That's right. That's right. Uh, it's 
taken care of. Oh, I, I, I try to do my best. On we, we, we have a little, we have a little something here for these kind of things. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> and the other thing we do is we try to work on weekends, like on Sundays, when we work in the city center, mm-hmm. because of the flow of traffic and speed pedestrians continuously. Yeah, we know on a Sunday it's lighter. All so right. we tend to do work around the city, like we've been doing for the past two Sundays. Realize we did some work around the Francis Bridge and the government building area. Yeah. Um, we did some work within the Cashew City Center, the bus stops. Yeah. We'll be doing some more on, on Brazil Street, um, Bridge Street had some holes. We try to cure all of that quickly. So during the course of the week, traffic and pedestrians can flow smoothly. All right, my brother. Now take a look into, um, Geno and Forest yeah? I know you, you have not been up there, but it's terrible. Actually, there. actually we have, but, um, Forest in particular, is, is on our burner, meaning that instead of actually um, curing it the way we do, we're going to reconstruct a new road, and that's coming very, very soon. Right. So there'll be a brand new road happening in the forest area out there. Beautiful, my brother. All right, brother Norbert? <laughs> well, well, that's that's great to hear. Thank you for calling in. Um, we're glad that you called and could let uh, everybody know what's going on. And um, we appreciate your call and continue the I good work. And thank you very much. Appreciate it. You also on champagne. All right, buddy, bye. Have a good evening. Thank you very much. Bye bye, guys. All right, yeah. Okay. All well, right. folks, that's Mr. Ty Roberts from the Ministry of Infrastructure. And if you have a pothole, you can, you want to report so that it gets fixed, you can call the Ministry of Infrastructure or you can call Ty deliberately. Ah, well, it's not deliberately. Di- directly. Yeah. And the number to call is 730-5183, 730-5183, and give Ty a call. Good night. You're on the air. Let's keep it real. Yeah, good night. Good, good night, night um, This um, quotation, um, New Frontier was before 1998, mm-hmm. and it's attributed to... Prime Minister John Compton, not mm-hmm. Kenny Anthony. Well, so we'll w- check that. Yeah, well, well, that is all well and good. That's fine too, caller. But Kenny Anthony also made reference to the South being the new frontier at a ground-turning ceremony in 1998. And if you, a little later on, I'll go through the papers here and I'll tell you exactly when that was said, okay? Where, where was that groundbreaking in ceremony? Viewfort, in Viewfort. For, for what? For what? I, I will tell you when I get the paperwork in a while. Okay? Thank you, okay? All right. You're welcome. All right. right. So, um, folks, you know, as I was saying... Kenny Anthony, you know, because basically he's a member of the opposition and they're bringing this motion of no confidence in the prime minister and inadvertently the government of St. Lucia. And you would expect when that is done, it's because of a failure. But, you know, as usual here, oh, everybody's calling tonight right away. Good night, you're on the air. Let's keep it real. Good evening, sir. How are you? Good night, sir. Good night. I used to interrupt your, your program, but I wanted to um, not only compliment the government for fixing the roads, but also to make some observations that I need some clarity on. Um, Mr. Norbert, I take it you know who's speaking. Oh, I, I've made out the voice already. After a while, you get accustomed to You get to know the voices very well, you know. And sparkling champagne, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. How are you doing? Good night, sir. Uh, I, I want to ask a simple Hold question. on a second. Folks, I just would like you all to know that this on the on the line here now is not Santa Claus. It's not, no, that's it's, not Santa Claus. It's not Santa Claus. Claus. So don't right. start making any wishes. <laughs> and, and it's not even Rudolph. <laughs> <laughs> No, uh, as you were speaking about roads and repairs, uh, something that I've always wondered, the, the road between the, the um, what's it called, the Mad- Maldini building? Maldini. Uh, oh, yes. Maldini. 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 That's Maldini. a better Baywalk Mall. At, okay. at Baywalk Mall. Oh, that, that, that thing with all the concrete on it yeah. with the yes. craters? Oh, yeah. my gosh. I, 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 just, uh, just to get clarity on it. I think right off the car, you know, man. Who owns Jeez. that road? And um, I don't know. That's interesting. I, it seems to be uh, the the forgotten road. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't yeah, know. Yeah. I, that's I, that's I, behind um CIBC now, right? right? And right. and that um restaurant mm-hmm. and battery plus or I, battery will they? 
I yeah. think it would be a, a really benefit to um, the ah. constituency and, mm -hmm. and the representative if that road could be um, could be fixed. Yeah, I don't know if that's a public road, eh? Yeah, that's why I, that's what I'm saying. I'm not sure. But, I, you know, I use it quite often when I go to the bank or yeah, if I yeah. want to make a shortcut. It's a there. nice shortcut. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And I, right. I really find that it's, it seems to be the forgotten road. Mm -hmm. So I, I think it would be nice if, if some clarity from the ministry would would, would be... And it's, the, and it's um, in the middle of the yeah. entire business sector, you know, in time, yeah. right there with all <laughs> businesses, the banks, restaurants, everything. Yes. It's, it's, right it's, really, it's really sad that uh, a, 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 a path, path like that should be in that condition. Mm. Even if it's, it's, it's horrendous, you yeah. know, man. Yeah. Listen, man, I don't know if it was an accident or if somebody tried uh, to, to fix it deliberately. Mm -hmm. Because yeah. somewhere around the middle, towards the, the higher part of it, they, they put concrete. some concrete or something. And maybe a vehicle passed when it was still soft or something. Apparently. And uh, if you, you are a low vehicle, you can't pass there. No. You must have an SUV, uh, almost. That's right. yeah. And if you go down in it, that's it for the bottom of your vehicle. Yeah. Gone. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think this would be beneficial for us to also make recommendations or when we come up with things like that. The other mm -hmm. area is in current. There's an area of current. I don't know the name of the road, but I happened to go down there one time just uh, only once. Only park. once you went there? No. Yeah. Well, I've been there a long time ago, but <laughs> recently I went there and I couldn't believe that yeah. the, 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 I was like in in the in the deepest area of turbulence I've ever flown in a plane. Wow. Mm. On the ground. Mm. Um, there's a road there. Somebody mentioned it the other day on another radio station, but I think. Um, these are the areas, and I'll try to find the name of the, is it, the is it Is it Asu Canal? No, 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 no. no, no not Asu Canal? Not Asu Canal. Okay. It's, it's closer to the um, bypass, um, the, the, the Windward and Leeward, Windward Gases uh -huh. Road, but it's not that main road. Okay. But, oh, that's between, but, that's between um, the, the Corinth Road and the Windward Islands Gases Road. That's right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. But but I I was I called specifically uh, to talk about that route at the, the Maldini, Maldini um, building, yeah. building because mm -hmm. I think um, we need to get some clarity as to whether it's just a forgotten road or whether it's a private road or whatever the case may be. Mm -hmm. yeah, maybe. It's, it's and I think that the, the district representative would would score uh, um, pluses if we can get that route at least paved so that it's smooth, waterable for. for or if it's not a, a private road and it should not be used, block it up or something yeah, like that. Yeah. I was about to ask you whether or not you think it's deliberate that they don't want people to use that shortcut to yeah, the well, that, main road. That's, that's what I, I really would like some clarity. But I, mm. if that's enough of taking time on your program, have okay. a good night, fellas. I'm All right, right. Alice. Have a good one. Good. Right. All, All right. right. Take care. Right. Um, yeah. And that's so. a valid, listen, that road, <laughs> listen, it's really crazy, this, this shortcut. It's a great, a nice shortcut. Mm -hmm. If the traffic is backed up there, you could just go right through there and get yourself on the main road. So, folks, I just got a little information with regards to um, a legal view on the motion of no confidence. Good night. You're on the air. Let's keep it real. Hi, Mother, it's me again. Yes, Ty. Well, Mr. Ellis, I heard him loud and clear. He, I'm sure he's I, hearing you. I, I am certainly going to look into it. Okay, I, I right, think, I right. think it's valid. Yeah, yeah. I, uh, you know that road, eh? You know that road, eh? I'm sorry? You know that road right up there at... Um, I, I know, I know it very well. Yeah. So I'm going to look into it and see what we can do to make it better. Okay. Uh, I used to not want anybody to say things about us in any way. If right. you are able to do it, so I will look into it. Okay. And I hope very soon enough they will be saying something good about this. Okay. Do, do you know any, do, do you know of the top of your head the status of that that road, whether it's no. it's a you don't know. No, yeah, but I, 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 will, yeah. I will go and drive and look at it. Yeah. And I will see what you can do to put it together better. Yeah, but I can attest to that it is really really terrible. Me as well. Really then, terrible. Then I I will promise you that. Soon enough, we will be said something very differently. I imagine so that people look at our government and see that we are working. Yeah. And we get told 
and you get criticized, you look into it and you try to make it better. But imagine that road is so bad. If you walk in there, that would mash up your shoe. Oh, yeah. oh, for sure. I am something I will go look into. It. Okay. All right, brother. Uh, right. All right. Thank yeah. you very much. Have a good one. Right. Okay, folks, you heard that there. Ministry of Infrastructure, Ty Roberts is listening and he will have a look at that road. I think it, it really, uh, that has been bad for a very long time. Uh, yes. My goodness gracious. Yeah. I, I cannot believe a road exists like that. Mm-hmm. But, um, we'll, we'll get the feedback and yeah. definitely by next week, we should, calling. we should be able to give some updates on mm-hmm. the state, on the later of that road. <laughs> and I, I think if Ty is on the job, Ty is your man. Ty is going to take care of that. Ty is going to take care of it. Just. Right. So back to a motion of no confidence. In general, a motion, you bring a motion to the House, mm-hmm. is a question or issue put to a vote mm-hmm. in Parliament expressing its position, or I guess the members would express their position on a particular topic or issue. Um, blah, 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 blah. Okay, let's see here. I don't want to give you too much information here. The motion of no confidence is a special motion that has serious constitutional implication and legal consequences for the minister or ministers and or the entire council of ministers, which would be for whatever side. Mm -hmm. The motion of no confidence is a vote in parliament by which the majority of the members of parliament express by their vote that the parliament does not have any confidence in a minister or ministers or or the side, the government. This is a fundamental basic rule of our parliamentary system, namely that the government must have the confidence and support of the majority of parliament. It is known as the confidence rule. Mm -hmm. So, in a nutshell, that's what it is. Is there confidence in the government, in the prime minister? Right. And if you're the government, number one, there's no leadership struggle. So, 79 to 82, forget about that reproducing or replicating itself mm-hmm. right now in 2018. The government is working. The government seems to be accomplishing much of what it had promised in on the campaign trail and in its manifesto. Mm-hmm. So the questions that need to be asked are, or the question that needs to be asked is, what is there no confidence in? Because the no confidence can't just be fabricated. It can't be based of propaganda. Now let me, let me interrupt you. Has the opposition party do they ever come out with a motive of the vote of no confidence? Well, 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 Philip J. Pierre, statement to the press, mm-hmm. November the 20th, 2018, and he lists a number of things here for mm-hmm. the motion of no confidence, which I am lost. Okay. Well, I missed that. This is why I asked you the question. I, 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 am, I am lost mm-hmm. about this because even in reading... It seems to be so lousily put together, so haphazard. I'm wondering whether this is really a genuine no-confidence vote or whether it's really designed to give an impression of the government and not really intending to succeed because I'm telling you straight, that ain't going to succeed. It's not going to succeed. What, the government is going to vote against itself? Yeah, you imagine that. The opposition is not. So, what is the purpose of this? It's to build up a hype for their supporters. That's the way. Wait, I see because, it. because if, listen to me, <clears throat> if you look at the record of what has transpired in the house, the opposition, the six, have opposed, and the government, in passing their bills or whatever is brought to the house, unanimous support from the government side. So. It's not a fast stretch of the imagination to conclude that in all of these measures 
bills and motions that have been brought to the house by the government in supporting this unanimously by all the members on their side all of a sudden now you think that the members of the government are going to side with you against yeah. themselves but i'll tell you what it this has done. is most nonsense i will tell you what it has done because i have our some of our supporters walking up to me and asking me the question whether or not i believe some of our people will vote against the government you know what i mean so it it, it really could play on some people's minds sometimes well you yeah. know our saint lucian people are watching what's going on mm -hmm. and you know regardless of whether you're SLP or whether you're UWP or whether you're LPM or independent or whatever, our St. Lucian people, because we're all, we're all interested in St. Lucia going forward. Let's, let's just say that, right? And there comes a time when there's so much nonsense out there that people say enough is enough. And I think St. Lucians have gotten to the point, our people, have gotten to the point, whether it's an SLP, whether UWP, where all the nonsense that's out there, enough is enough. And I think as time continues to march on in this term of office for the UWP government, number one, the government never said that it would fix everything in one day or one week or one month after getting into office. The government is elected into office for a period of five years. That is an election term. And anyone who believes that everything is going to happen in the first year is not thinking right. Particularly in the wake of the mess that was found there by this UWP government. <clears throat> Let me tell you. It was Badi. <laughs> woy, woy, woy. It was Badi. <laughs> That's the kid speaking. Messier. It was Badi. C'est mon là. Quand tu vas gagner là qui yo joue dans dedans là. I say something to you. The one that shocks out to me a whole lot is when you see you have people talking about water is life, and then we had this hurricane. And all that silt came down into the river. And you, you said 70 feet of silt? And for a government or a prime minister to put that 10% silt levy and not a spoon. I spoke about that for, you listen, I've been talking about that for years. Not one spoon of silt was taken out of that um, John Compton Dam. And then you have a government coming in less than three years and is able to have some of that silt been removed. What does that say? But I'm reading there. Well, what, what, does that what, say? what it says. Let, let people conclude. What do you I think mean, it come says? On. But let, let me just read one of the um, paragraphs here, one of the pointers there from Philip J. Pierre. Mm -hmm. In his statement to the press on the no confidence motion in Prime Minister Alan Shastney. Ego de, sir. The Prime Minister, while recognizing the requirement of a deputy speaker by proposing and supporting the nomination of Sarah Flood Beaubre as deputy speaker caused her to resign at a subsequent meeting of parliament without explanation, leaving the post vacant. This amounts to no more than an abuse and contempt for the intentions of our constitution and the people's parliament. Well, why is it abuse and why is it contempt for the intentions of our constitution and the people's parliament why when it clearly states that the deputy speaker shall be from among the elected members mm -hmm. of parliament mm -hmm. plain and simple out of the 17 mm -hmm. if philip j pierre wants to end this debacle he can do so almost immediately. Put himself up mm -hmm. for deputy speaker. Yep. Or maybe the high-flying Alva Baptiste, you know, the captain at the controls, who's soaring. Yeah. He's coming down left downwind 
making a turn onto the base leg and lining up on final for runway 09 or maybe 27 you know it depends where he's coming from yeah. what the winds are what the sun is you know what I'm talking I about know. Alva Baptist he knows landing. what I'm talking about of course and we don't have ILS in St. Lucia <laughs> yeah. so maybe he his GPS yeah. coordinates yeah Maybe he got them from a buddy at another airline and he's flying GPS. And once he gets down below 1,500 feet, maybe 1,000 feet today, he could see land. He could see the runway. You know, that's it. So maybe he could land himself in the deputy speaker's seat. He could have a chat with his buddies on the opposite side. And by next week, they could resolve this problem. They could resolve it. I mean, he could, he could come in for a very smooth landing, you know, full reverse thrust. I mean, the runway is long enough. I don't think he has a very big plane. <laughs> you know, full reverse thrust. You know, apply the brakes gently. And he doesn't even have to pass the first intersection. He could just taxi but, straight in. You know that the, 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 the deputy speaker issue, that should have been a dead issue a long time ago because it has, has a group of people that knows the law, they knows the constitution, it states that a member of parliament, meaning the entire 17. That's right. That's I mean, right. What, what, so you would like to have one on the governing side. But you know what, you know what, Champagne? When I'm you not, yourself. Champagne, I'm not going to beat yeah, that yeah, dead horse exactly. there with that. It should, it Everybody should. understands. Yeah. That is simple. Up to now, you're poor, you dios, you're the okay, exactly, you know, Moving right on, exactly. according to some people. Yeah, that, that dead already, man. That dead. Yeah, leave that, that dead already, man. There's another one there. Uh, I, I'm not even going to get into this. I'm not even, because that, that is giving life to this thing here. You know? The motion and the anticipated debate will articulate the deep concerns, anxieties, and the feeling of hopelessness among large sections of the St. Lucian society about the uncaring and irresponsible manner that the business of this country is currently managed. A lot of nothing was just said there in that paragraph. A lot of nothing. Just a lot of bavaness. Large sections of the St. Lucian society. What does that mean? Well, Large sections were in, in <clears throat> on his block of St. Lucian society about the uncaring and irresponsible. How? What's uncaring? What's irresponsible? That St. Jude's is finally being worked on? Mm -hmm. That's uncaring? That's irresponsible? Les autres pas fini. When the cost of St. Jude's currently at about $136 million compared to a fully equipped a fully equipped OKEU hospital for $168 million twice the size of St. twice state of the art you want to talk about state of the art mm -hmm. well folks I've been to OKEU and a number of people have been to OKEU and that thing is a state of the art hospital mm -hmm. Nice place. And St. Jude's is barely 50% complete. Okay? And it ain't nowhere near go, ready to go into. Unless, of course, we listen to our just landed oh, yeah. captain who yeah. said, just put down a few tiles and get some chemical yeah, bleach. Chemical, yeah. And the hospital will be ready. But you see, we're talking about that. Move the people into the first wing. What about the laundry? That needs to be open. What about all the other services? What about water? You see, people just believe. You just say things and it sounds nice. Put them in the east wing. Yeah. You know, put them in the east wing and then what? 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 That's a nice question to ask. And then what? You know, and then what? Mm -hmm. you, you have water available. What's happening with the waterworks there? Mm -hmm. You have... Uh, Air conditioning, what's going on with that? Uh, okay, so anyway, that's a dead horse. Right? You're gonna that's, that's a dead horse. Right? Right. That's a dead horse because next week it'll be dead on arrival. All right. It'll be dead. 
exi pa mo and they try to revive the dead day yo ka hen ku non stop on di dan kwai kon sit la non stop i mean this is utterly ridiculous utterly ridiculous so i was saying earlier so if they know that this has absolutely no i'm i'm sure they do i know it has absolutely no chance of surviving in the house what is the purpose of bringing it to do what what impression what ideas are you trying to put out there about saint lucia is this targeting foreign investors mm-hmm. are you trying to create an impression that saint lucia is unstable that investors will be wary of investing their monies in saint lucia but when you do all of that all of this if you do all of this and you get in who who will inherit this who's going to inherit the lack of confidence and i still haven't heard anything conclusive as to whether investors were written to and told not to come to saint lucia nobody in the press has asked that question from the persons who made it who made that statement nobody has but anyway getting back to the no confidence so the airport is coming on now you have no confidence in that the cruise ship port is coming on there's no confidence in that tourism numbers are up record second year in a row you have no confidence in that more cruise ships are coming in you have no confidence in that more flights are coming into st lucia oh, you have no confidence in that st lucia was just awarded uh, best honeymoon saint lucia was just awarded best honeymoon destination mm-hmm. in the world that's right you have no confidence in that uh, 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 tell me if i'm thinking something wrong here but um all of these indicators that i've just mentioned seem to suggest that you should have confidence in the government in fact based on the performance of the government right now i think the opposition will say where say books are cafeto va nous pas cou we lot elections yeah they should do that i think they should just say that <laughs> i mean i mean come on i mean we would make history yeah you want to get something out to the international press let's make news the opposition has decided the government is doing such a good job they won't run elections yeah. They are bowed out from the election. See what say nom fessa. See what nom. See what nom fessa. But no, they ain't gonna do that, champion. Are you crazy? Nah, that's not gonna happen. Are you crazy? Not these guys. But you know, hotel occupancy. Last week I checked. Most hotels are eighty-five, ninety, ninety-five percent. And this almost is just the start of the season. Full. Yeah. Peak season is yeah. when you're talking about January into february this is just the start of the season load Mm -hmm. hotels in saint lucia Mm -hmm. load i do i don't know i I, I, if the hotels are load already i would think that there's confidence for tourism otherwise unemployment is down you tell me there's no confidence in that jobs are being created you tell me there's no confidence in that you know but of course it's all about chasne chasne mm-hmm. uh, ko chasne yeah well. you know and so there's a vote of no confidence in alan chasne but what are you saying about the government but in essence alan chasne is supported by the government so if there's confidence in the government the leadership must be good there's no dissent there's no problems in the government with who the prime minister is so kisa kafet but anyway no, i just want to take uh, just a few seconds because i just got a text message eh, from a buddy of mine there in plateau and he said can you mention plateau oh my god holes holes everywhere Okay, so, so good night to you in Plateau. Yeah. Tai, are you listening? Yeah. We got a report from Plateau. Yeah. Way out there. 
Pas Babono. That's right. Right? Same. Well, that's one of the um, most remote parts of Babono. That's right. Of Babono. Yeah. yeah we got to speak smooth over here. Babono. Mm. So, Ty, if you're listening, yeah. there's an urgent call from Plateau. Plateau. Yeah. Port about potholes all over the place. All so, right. maybe that might be one of the places you need to have a look at. I'm sure right. there are other people in Plateau who are equally as concerned. Mm -hmm. um, the minibus drivers. So, we're talking about Vote of no confidence. So, remember the minibus drivers bawling about damage to their vehicles, roads, potholes, mm -hmm. all over the place. I'm sure they're breathing a sigh of relief now because at least the potholes are being patched. Yeah. And the roadworks are to come next year for sure. The roadworks are coming with a fury. Yeah. The South, the New Frontier, the horse race track coming in there. I, I wanted to ask you, when last did you go down? Did you see the starting blocks? Is, there, is it the starting the, blocks? The, the gates. The, gate. the starting the gates. gates. That's right, yeah. the starting gates. Yeah. I, I, I saw it. Yeah, yeah. That is already on there. Yeah, they're putting on the sand for uh, around the track. Mm -hmm. And it's it's moving ahead. The stables are scheduled to be done pretty soon. I think and some of just the just finalizing are up uh, the stables. Stables, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. The stables, some of them are already in. Good night. You're on the air. Let's keep it real. Yeah, good night. Good night, sir. Yeah. Um, what I would like to see my government do for 2019 yeah. is that Solid Waste give Castle City Council the contract to collect the garbage in all four constituencies. And you will see a cleaner environment. So what, what, what's, what's the, the status of that right now? Because garbage stained by people home three days. So who is responsible for that now? Well, the people that give the contract to collect the garbage. Oh, so it's, Sometimes it's contract. Sometimes they down, okay. all these things. You know, that's, that's bad. You know, that's not, that, that's not good. And Champion could work for that. Oh, the yeah. council will do a better, a cleaner job. They will employ more people. They will get more vehicles. And they will be able to clear the garbage every day. Mm -hmm. You understand? I know that, for mm -hmm. sure. Okay, Robert. Okay. All right, brother. All right, thank you, sir. All right, okay, have a good one, Okay, folks, yeah. So, anyway, I, I got distracted here for a little bit. You know, I'm sorry about that. Yeah, we were that. talking about the, the starting block, the starting gates. Yeah, but, there, but that's, that's down south. But before, before we get to that, I'd like you to listen in his own words. You see, it's very important to hear people in their own words tell you about themselves. And in this instance, I'm talking about Dr. Kenny Anthony, again from the South, and the failure. But, Pamweki D, I'd like you to listen to what Dr. Kenny Anthony said about himself. I think it was back in 2013 or somewhere. But, but, but um, 2004, 2005. No, it's not that long ago. But anyway, um, hold on a second here. I'll, I'll tell you exactly what year it was. See, folks, I'm doing my own little math thing over here. 2014, right? Kenny Anthony, at the opening of the newly renovated or the finally renovated Viewfort Square. Mm -hmm. See, it's important to hear things in people's own words because then people don't say you say or you change right. things or you twist things. Mm -hmm. Here we keep it real. So let's hear Dr. Kenny Anthony at the opening of the newly renovated Viewfort Town Square. Champagne, what's going on there? Well, I'm on. Hold on a second. That's not so. Let's, let's start it all over again. Dr. Kenny Anthony, <clears throat> let's go. It has been said that this project was my brainchild, it was my vision. That's not so. I don't deserve it. This 
project has always been the wish of the people of Air Force South. And you have in several conversations with me repeatedly asked that we do something about the square. I am now in my 17th year as parliamentary representative of Air Force South. Listen, listen well, folks. This project has been a long time coming. 17 years. Yeah. And I want to ask you to forgive me yeah, you hear that? that it has taken me so long to get it off the ground and to get it done. I thank you for your understanding and for your patience, for trusting me that it will be done. But as I said earlier, I do not deserve an ounce of praise, an ounce of thanks. <laughs> you deserved it, you needed it. And you said to me, it had to be one of our priorities. <laughs> Folks, I couldn't contain myself. If that is not the classic case of self-flagellation, I don't know what is. Even when people were trying to lay a little bit of praise on Kenny Anthony, Kenny Anthony is telling you, no, I failed. Yeah. It's not me. Don't give it to me. It's taken so long, I apologize. 17 years. 17 years. For renovation. To, not a new do, uh, to fix the square mm -hmm. in Viewfort. So if it took Kenny Anthony at that time, 17 years to fix the... Now we understand what's going on there. Kenny Anthony would work. He work in. It just takes an extremely yeah, long period of time. time. So if it takes Kenny Anthony 17 years... And not even of his own doing, you know, because the people were joking him yeah. about the square. He said it. I'll that pay for you me, again. That tells you what's going on with so, so if it takes 17 years to do the town square, yeah. renovate, huh? to renovate the yeah. town square, it'll take 100 years to do the airport. <laughs> what about St. Jude's? 200. Let me play that again because I think some people may not. Folks, please listen. Ecoute. Pam Wekidi. This is Dr. Kenny Anthony at the opening ceremony. His words are very telling. And I don't think you could be more honest about your failure than Kenny Anthony there. And he's actually saying, Mea culpa, batmue. Batmue. That he's saying that unashamedly. <laughs> <laughs> Let me say how to forgive me. <laughs> the expression you have there, you know, is the way you're saying that. You know, I, I, the man is saying, <laughs> mwe, <"Bat> mwe. <laughs> Because he's saying that people have tried to give him credit for it. And no, it's not me that has the credit. Mm -hmm. So in essence, he's saying he's still a failure. He, he just happened to be the rep and did it because people were after him for 17 years. I'm playing this. I'm playing it again. Um, should I play it again? Of course. Yes, should. okay. Please listen, folks, because regardless of how I interpret this and say it or whatever, you listen and decide your meaning. It has been said that this project was my brainchild. You hear that? It was my vision. That's not so. Mm. So. I don't deserve it. Mm. This project has always been the wish of the people of Air Force South. And you have in several conversations with me repeatedly yeah. asked that we do something about the square. I am now in my 17th year as parliamentary representative of Air Force South. This project has been a long time coming. And I want to ask you to forgive me mm. that it has taken me so long to mm. get it off the ground and to mm. get it done. I thank you. For your understanding and for your patience, for trusting me that it will be done. <laughs> but as I said earlier, I do not deserve an ounce of praise, an ounce of thanks. You deserved it, you needed it. And you said to me, it had to be one of our priorities. Can you believe that? Good night, you're on the air, let's keep it real. Yeah, good night, brother. Um, number? Yes, good night. Champion. How you doing, sir? Good night. I should let tell you. <laughs> I need a copy of that recording. <laughs> you, you want a copy of it? Yeah. But nobody will be happy to give it to you. <laughs> yeah. Even Johnson, um, put it to me, you know. 
So were you at that ceremony? Nah. I wouldn't be there. What are you doing there, something? I don't know, because you're from the south. So you're probably in that square is right there below your house. No, 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 man. <laughs> you, know, you know I wouldn't be there, man. Uh, <laughs> I just need a copy of that record. In my you want a copy? Okay, I'll try to get better number to send it to me, and then I'll, I'll pass it on to you. You don't know. All you right. <laughs> All right, my okay, brother. Okay, thanks for All calling. Right. There's, a little, there's, there's a little bit I want to... I want to... um play back there because I was going to say something about it and I got distracted by this caller here. Let me just put that back again, folks. Thank you for your understanding and for your patience, for trusting me that it will be done. But as I said earlier, I do not deserve an ounce of praise, an ounce of thanks. You deserved it, you needed it, and you said to me, it had to be one of our priorities. He does not deserve an ounce of praise. Well, if he completed, or if he was the prime minister and the representative, when the square was completed, after 17 years, and St. Jude's hmm. has not been completed or had not been completed under his rule, then he, does, he doesn't deserve any praise for it either. Because the status of St. Jude's when he left office is worse or was worse than the square so you know based on that recording right there you know we would have never seen a St. Jude seriously listen, man. listen, no, no, man. no serious. this is serious based on what I just heard okay the guy is admitting that he does not deserve any not even an ounce of praise for a renovation at the square could you imagine how long it would have taken St. Lucia to see St. Jude's in its now, entirety, now, in its completion. Is is that not a vote of no confidence by of Kenny course, Anthony in himself? Of course, of course. He is actually saying, there's no confidence in me being mm -hmm. able to deliver. After 17 years. After 17 years. It mm -hmm. wasn't even me. It's you that came after me. Yeah, you came. Uh, this is not my initiative. I don't deserve any praise. Yeah. He just didn't use one word. He didn't say, you kept harassing me. <laughs> he didn't right that way. now, now we're talking about no confidence in what the government is doing. Yeah, right. Let us listen to what Dr. Kenny Anthony said in May 2014 on the deficit about GDP and borrowing, because you see now we want to compare what this government is doing, or at least not compare, but to chastise or to criticize Dr. Kenneth Anthony et al. But we have to look at what Dr. Kenny Anthony is saying about government, about GDP, about the deficit, which was monumentally in the red under his administration, three consecutive years, negative growth. And of course about borrowing. Let's hear what Dr. Kenny Anthony had to say. But something happened. Something happened that made the situation different. And mm. it is the first time St. Lucia has experienced this. This time around, we could not borrow to finance the deficit. That is the crux of your problem. St. Lucia could have gone along its merry way for the next couple of years very easily if it could borrow money to pay for the deficit. It would have put us in more trouble down the road. Down the road, yes, later on. And, and certainly we would have collapsed, but we would have bought time, mm -hmm. but we can't now because, generally speaking, institutions in the region are unwilling to lend governments. And let me just ex give you an example. Let's, let's listen to this of, important of, of, of part, what folks. I'm getting at. A lot of people have heard of something called bonds. Mm. And we normally finance um, the deficit or obtain money for development purposes mm -hmm. by issuing bonds. Listen These very really carefully. Paper instruments that say to those who take... So let me just pause that here first, this, folks. Dr. Kenny Anthony is talking about financing or raising finances to fund government operations. And because they were unable to get loans, but there's a reason why 
the government was unable to get loans. And whether it was a regional thing or not, St. Lucia is an individual country who ha which has a credit rating. Now, I spoke about that at some, some, some shows ago when there was all the brouhaha about the NIC loan mm -hmm. or, or that the government was taking and would have repaid in a month, yeah, in a month. right? That was all for the bonds which were beginning to mature or just about maturing, right? I spoke about St. Lucia's credit rating mm -hmm. there too. As a matter of fact, St. Lucia's credit rating had increased. So I think it was a triple B plus, if I remember correctly, in July, July the 25th of this year. Let's continue on that interview on RSL with Dr. Kenny Anthony and interviewed by Jadia Jean-Pierre. Mm -hmm. Take those bonds. Look, at the end, if you lend us $10 million, mm -hmm. at the end of 10 years, so we're going how to bonds give you work. 10 million back plus, plus an annual interest, um, interest rate yeah. of, let us say, 10% mm -hmm. or 5%. So if you lend us um, <laughs> um, 100 million, then you get 10 million in, in profits or whatever the case might be. Are you with me? Yes. Now, last year, and this is where the crux of the problem Listen is. Listen to this, folks. We wanted to issue bonds of $266.5 million. Mm -hmm. But we actually were only able to raise only $45.5 million. 20%. That's a significant difference. 20%. In other words, we were not able to raise $221 million. Likewise, mm -hmm. we actually. wanted to raise short-term loans of $38.9 million, but we were only able to raise $29.3 million. Why? Again, a shortfall Why? of $9.6 million. So what has happened here is that we cannot turn to borrowing to fix up our deficit because banks, individuals, and institutions Had no who confidence. used to lend before are no longer lending governments. They're insisting that they will lend you if you get your financial house in order. Wow. If you get your wow. financial house wow. in order. You, you listen to wow. that admission there? Wow. So Dr. <laughs> Kenny Anthony, in essence, is agreeing mm -hmm. that St. Lucia's financial mm -hmm. house under him was not in order. Play that line again. Play that line right? again. Right? Yeah, that's an interesting line. Right? The government had borrowed so much mm -hmm. that they... It's just like if you go into the bank and you get $100. Right? If you borrow in $100 and your salary is 110 yeah, the bank ain't gonna borrow lend you anything else mm -hmm. because you, you're not going to be able to repay. Never. So we cannot just see that as a ceiling on what St. Lucia could borrow. It was an expression of the ability to repay. That's right. And the reason for the concern in their ability to repay is not solely based on the amount that they have borrowed, but the confidence in the government being able to Three. generate mm -hmm. to generate the funds whether it's in taxation whether it's in in the streamlining of operations or whatever to make the government more flexible more lean to be able to pay right dr kenny anthony let's go on you you, you want to okay hold on a second here folks that was Dr. Kenny Anthony. That we have to bring down our fiscal deficit from where it is at 5.8%, below 4%. That's the key. So listen to this, folks. Under Dr. Kenny Anthony, banks were not willing to lend money to St. Lucia. St. Lucia tried to put out 200 and what, 60 something million dollars in bonds to raise funds. And what happened? Nada. They only were able to raise 20 something mil, 26 million dollars. What does that tell you? St. Lucia's credit rating was down the tubes at That's the time. Right. The confidence that the public, the banks, and other institutions had in St. Lucia to buy that paper, to buy those bonds, so that St. Lucia could raise the money was still down. That is why they couldn't sell it. But yet still, we're talking about a motion of no confidence yes. in the government now, yes. right? But yet still, in July of this year, the government of St. Lucia could sell again, could resell 
100 million in bonds and oversell and you tell me there's no conf that is a sign of confidence in the government mm -hmm. in the government's ability to repay in the government's of, of ability to manage its affairs so where's the vote of no confidence in that so you see like i'm telling you something that's a bunch of poppy of show course. that's a that's a, a bunch of gwennery <laughs> gwennery <laughs> That's the new one. That's my word. That's your word. That's that's your I've word. used it before. It's copyright. Yeah. You better okay. watch it. Don't right. use that. I'm not going to use it. That's a bunch of guenery. Yeah. Vote of no confidence. Mm -hmm. Were you talking about no confidence in yourself? Mm -hmm. Were you talking about no confidence in your government when you were in office? And when now, in 2018 or since 2016, everything that was a negative for your government in not being able to raise bonds in not being able to get loans in not being able to fix the roads in not being able to adequately fix the schools and failing in so many other ways not being able to deliver st jude's not being able to open okeu in raising the rate for water in imposing a levy on water users for the desilting of the dam, not being able to desil the dam, not being able to deal on a yearly basis adequately with the flooding in St. Lucia anytime one drop falls from the sky. Comparing that to what's happening now, oh, yeah. the major rains we had recently, right. minimal flooding right. in the cul-de-sac area, which is known oh, yeah. to have flooded of course. under your rule mm -hmm. at the slightest the backs on area rain. What happened this year. It's All of these things are happening now have been fixed now or on the way to being fixed under this administration unable to be done under yours yet still you all have the audacity yeah, the audacity you know this is absolutely pathetic yeah what's the word you just used gwennery <laughs> that's great <laughs> but there's another word that bullshittery okay and gwennery that's what it is i mean this i mean i mean i mean come on come on i mean According to some, the older people there, say, yeah. I mean, come on, man, champagne. Come on. Are the people of St. Lucia that stupid? Are they that gullible? No, no. Are, are, are they drinking the Jim Jones Kool Aid? No, 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 no. The time for that, for St. Lucians to think that way has passed. And just for St. Lucians to understand the origin of that expression, you, you drinking the Kool Aid. Jim Jones in Guyana in the 70s, mid 70s, yeah. mm -hmm. had a cult down there what what was jim jones what do they the the temple what was it called um the people's temple mm -hmm. in guyana went down there and had people drink poison yeah give it, give it and poison. and what he did was put it in the kool-aid in yeah. kool-aid mm -hmm. they gave their kids and they drank it that's right 900 plus people right can you believe that folks Take their lives so that's where the term You've drunk the Kool-Aid or you're drinking the Kool-Aid. Mm -hmm. Because they're giving you something to drink. The analogy is information or they tell you something to your own demise. And you're drinking it willingly. You're drinking it willingly. Now that is a load of SLP Kool-Aid. But I ain't drinking it though. Me? I'm That's a, that thing. Then you pass that thing by my mmm. That's <laughs> what you hear. Mmm. Solutions. You can't pour that thing down my throat. Solutions not drinking that. Anymore. Solutions not drinking that. No, no. You see, the problem with a lot of the propaganda that has been put out there against this current administration, the misinformation, the disinformation, the bold-faced lies, the social media Facebook experts, oh, yeah. who have never spent a day, one minute, in what they profess to be experts at. Yeah. You part of a member by la, me you say yoki export. Say yoki export l'hôpital. Say yoki export wange fish chime. Say yoki export wange l'école. Say yoki export tout bagay. Me you pour faire un jour ka travailler dans. Non. Yo tout c'est export. Eh ben il fait la hein. I don't know. It would be nice to just take just that line. Which one? The one where he was telling himself that the banks are not even in hold know, on let me see if i can get let me see if i can get that let me see if i can get towards that the end of the, the, the hold on the clip you just hold played. on there. let me give that to you again. because that was that was let me give that to you there champagne 
Let me just ex give you an example of, of, of what I'm getting at. Yeah. A lot of people have heard of something called bonds. And we normally finance um, the deficit or obtain money for development purposes by issuing bonds. These are really paper instruments that say to those who take those bonds, look, at the end, if you lend us $10 million, at the end of 10 years, we're going to give you the 10 million back plus an annual um, interest rate of, let us say, 10% or 5%. So if you lend us um, <laughs> um, 100 million, then you get 10 million in, in profits or whatever the case might be. Are you with me? Yes. Now, last year, and this is where the crux of the problem is. Listen well. We wanted to issue bonds of $266.5 million. But we actually were able to raise only 45.5 million. Only. 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 That's a significant difference. In other words, we were not able to raise 221 million. Wow. Why? Likewise. Lack of confidence. We wanted to raise short term loans of 38.9 million, but we were only able to raise 29.3 million. Again, a shortfall of 9.6 million. So, what has happened here is that we cannot turn to borrowing yeah. to fix up our deficit. Because banks, individuals, and institutions who used to lend before are no longer lending governments. They're insisting that they will lend you if you get your financial house in order. Imagine hey, that. That's Likuma. what I like. Utan Likuma. Yeah. Utan Likuma. What does that say? So that under, his, under, financial under, his financial house was not in order. It's out of order. What What you need? So in essence, he's saying there was no confidence no. in his government. No. No. Eh, Emily, look it. That's right. So, what are you talking about? No confidence yeah. about. Yeah. Is is any bank did did anybody refuse to buy Saint Lucia's bonds to the tune of one no. hundred million dollars no. in June or in July or August? Was the loan taken from the NIC by this current administration to cover the bond payments? The terms were to be repaid in thirty days. Was that loan? not repaid in less than 30 days exactly what does that do for saint lucia's confidence rating yep. for yep. saint lucia's credit rating mm -hmm. and what does that say adding on to the increase in saint lucia's credit rating on july 25th this year to triple b plus say books are hot you're hot you're hot messier ah Come on! Uh -huh. He said it. I, 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 I didn't say it. Kenny Anthony is making the case for the government. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is simple. You failed. There was no confidence in you. The banks were not lending you. You couldn't get money from the bond market, from issuing bonds. And he said this he government is getting money from bonds. Mm -hmm. This government is getting loans. As a matter of fact, they're so frantic. Oh, you're getting so many loans. But the explanation on how those loans are going to be paid is there for all to understand. From for the airport, from the taxes, who's going to be paying it? The majority tourists. We have booming tourist numbers That's now, right. so that number is basically not coming from Saint Lucian's pockets. That is also going to fund the North South or the Northeast Highway North from North. Denry to Beausejour. Yeah. And that's going to open up that whole side of oh, the yeah. island. Yes, sir. More business. More households, more residents. Opportunities for St. Lucians. So where's, where's the no confidence? Where's the no confidence? Where is the no confidence? All these guys talking about is just generalization. The people have lost confidence in the manner in which you say whatever. Lack of any specifics. And in, in two and a half years, uh, people have to be mindful about this. Just two L and a half years. Listen to me, years, Champagne. Half Champagne. of the term. So hold on. Half of the term. Yeah. That was reduced mm -hmm. by two and a half percent from from 15 to 12.5. They said, oh, we're going to lose, lose 50, 50 million, million and all that. Yeah. As a matter of fact, according to the figures, mm -hmm. the government is collecting more. That's right. That's with right. less taxes. That's right. Because it's not only, you see, the way how the opposition has been thinking about VAT is that, and taxes, is that you tax people. 
you tax people to death everything is tax them yeah so the only way apparently that they're seeing resolving the financial issues in St. Lucia is to tax the people, keep taxing, and find creative ways to impose taxes. Yes, Good night, you're on the air. Let's keep it real. Good night. Good night, sir. I wasn't going to call, but you know I got a call. All right. All I can say, for a man, I only need the one school as Anglican. I can tell you one thing. The SFP is supposed to be a dumb, backwards, chopper, and ignorant. <laughs> I never said it to you. They can't be shafted. They can't be shafted in nothing. They cannot be shafted in anything that's good. Read my lips. They cannot be shafted in any... They cannot be shafted in anything that's good. Read my lips. They cannot be shafted in any... They cannot be shafted in any... Something is wrong. Something is wrong with y'all, man. They can't be shafted in nothing. Read my lips, man. Next election... They'll be lucky to get one seat, man. See ya. <laughs> so I'm still going to clean them out. Read my lips. Have a good night, man. All right, my brother. Have a good one. So, so Champagne, you see, you see what's, what's going on there? Now, <laughs> you know, I, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, I have another call coming in there. Good night, you're on the air. Let's keep it real. Yeah, good night. Good night, sir. Yeah, I'm, I'm there wondering, apart from what we normally hear, uh, is it, is it, what is the real part of the solution? Uh, this is so too early. I mean, it's been like some other view, some other issues, you know, like, even if other countries don't. Because I think, similarly, we have issues and problems with every government throughout the Caribbean. Both parties, you know, in terms of share, I think, are plagued by, by what, 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 what I commonly call it, the normal, normal life in the Caribbean, which is things are harder than getting away. You know, but I mean, of course, everybody will claim that, you know, things are, things are going very well. And I expect, you know, I mean, at least even if, you know, in reality, we could um, say that, you know, maybe if we were doing something else, Okay, you have 30 it's seconds, caller. It's more of the same, it's more of the same thing, you know? Mm-hmm. Um, I'm very sad because what's happening in reality? It's showing that it's between friends. And, uh, you know, I think if I'm in the world, it's thing is out there. Okay, thank you very much, Colin. Thanks for calling. One second. People who owe each other to pay, like those who owe these shops. I'll give you 30 seconds, they call, and then you're off. Yeah. If you owe anybody, just pay the money and then go ahead. Wouldn't that be a, a good gesture? Like, you know, get some money for to settle people's debt, and then everybody will be a bit happier in the country. Like, if you owe a shop, because people who owe people that have trouble and we can see what we want, but things are hard in the country. Okay, thank you very much, Colin. Thank you. Have a good night. Thank you for calling. Yes, folks. So, I mean, folks, we have to understand. We're talking about the supposed or the proposed vote of no confidence by the opposition 
in the prime minister or the leader of government business who is the prime minister and by extension the government mm -hmm. because the prime minister is voted as the leader of government business head of government operations if you will and it's very strange that the government is enjoying or showing such positive returns on the electorate's investment to now when so many things are happening for the opposition to say no confidence and I am putting it to you folks I am not a Gade but I think tonight I'll be a Gade Tuesday night that when this motion comes to the house a vote of no confidence that it will be nothing less than 11-6 Kuwakoyo in fact I think it will be a shameful trouncing in the house an absolute display of total rejection or of rejection to this ridiculous motion I mean folks we can see as I said earlier all that this government has done the government has reduced VAT the opposition cried about that the government has done so many things in opening the OKEU hospital they have a problem with that you don't open it they have a problem when you open it they have another problem mm. what about the tax? St. Lucian's got what? three years three off years. on property taxes mm. they poo pooed that away like that was nothing yeah three years of property they taxes. Homes, though. <laughs> and they got well, well if they believe it's no good they should pay pay yeah, the taxes pay, the, pay the property years. taxes yeah, for, for the three years, years. Exactly. you tell me those three years of taxes that you're saving can't go to renovating your house mm -hmm. can't go to doing something else yeah. can't go to an education for your child or mm -hmm. something i mean where is the negative in that but of course they'll make anything negative if you breathe they make it negative of course, of course. well you're breathing too much yes sir Mm -hmm. you know, you're breathing too much I mean it doesn't matter what the government does the opposition somehow some way somewhere finds a way to find a problem with it good night you're on the air let's keep it real good night to you brother Robert good night sir how are you I'm okay all right good night to you brother Shanti how you doing my brother I'm okay all right um, I just want to um, make two points allow me to make two points mm -hmm. on your conversation tonight you have credit tonight eh um i i i will be able to do in time I'll, well the last time somebody sent you credit because they wanted yeah, you to talk be, longer too, um, let us let, let, let just make my point <laughs> um first of all let me just say with um sir john voicing and pitching the force and his foresight for a new frontier in new force I think at the time he said it, I remember very clearly when he said it, he was actually speaking to our, our, our people, our, our, the chamber especially, and people of St. Lucia to take advantage over the development of New Fort. And I think Dr. Anthony cited it again, he did make mention of it again, and very well, I want to, tonight, uh, from not from a political point of view, but from a national point of point of view, and especially for uh, the, my people and my friends and the people of you for that certain people did take advantage of uh, that call from Sir John's time and Dr. Kenny Anthony, and for the development of you I want to say kudos to those you who took the risk. This is a risk and that they have developed. And I want to make mention of very, very early when we had things like um, the, the, the group of people from England came in and had their factory doing woodwork. And we have Napa, we have right now the, the uptongs, and we have all the, the, the Borites and the, the um, Chitoris, and all of those people who have developed and took advantage of that and has made the expansion of the force. 
Well, and just like Dr. Anthony, as a politician... Well, Carla, what are you talking politics, about there? What, 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 what sort say, of development are you to referring to? Let me just say this. Because um, I think right now we're talking about. I, hold on, hold on, hold on. I yeah, think yeah, you, yeah. you. I think you're. I do, as soon as I mentioned Dr. Anthony, it would pitch a nerve. Okay, no, I, actually, I'm not even referring to Dr. Anthony. So don't anticipate what I'm so going go to say. No, I, as I made the point, is when you, when you, when you, when you pitch it. Uh, no, I'm. Uh, but I just you see, you see, remember, I just said ahead. to you, it's not even about Dr. Kenny Anthony. I'm referring okay. to the if private. It's not, it, is not, it is not about Dr. Anthony. And let me just finish my point. It's not about Dr. Anthony. It's not about me. It's not about Alan Shasti. It is about the development of the people of Saint Lucia. Really? Now, making that point, I want to say that I will disagree with anybody who said that there have not been development under any one of the government. Right, the John. Caller, please stop. Caller, caller, you don't okay. come across. Don't play naive. You understand okay. very well what the discussion of development in the South and the New Frontier di discussion and what true development. Is. It's not about a private individual, and this is what I was going to say. My, it's my not brother, about private brother, individuals building a little store I there or a little something. Point. This is We're, why I mentioned all the developers who have taken heed of the call from both Sir John and Dr. Kenny Anthony. They are only leaders, you know. It is when the, when the leaders say something, we call, take it... Call you, you willfully, you willfully bypassing point. the point that I'm making. You're ignoring it. It's not but about private citizens. Making. There's no major development. Viewfort has not been transformed. In fact, the numbers and the information out of Viewfort has continued to say or to, to, to describe that area as a depressed part of St. Lucia, where most of the people who are employed move out of Viewfort for employment, where the town is loaded with unemployed youth, where the town was loaded with loads of stray dogs, where the town has been described as a ghost town. What you're saying there is just trying to fluff and pretend okay, that I, it did not exist in that manner. I give, I give, I take your, I take your, I take your impression of Viewfort as your impression of Viewfort. It is yours, I accept it, but I have a different opinion, and I'm going to leave that there. Let my second, but, but let me call it, but call it the facts, point. call it the, call it, call it the facts as they are today. Do not support what you say. Mr. Roberts. You can have a different Mr. opinion, Robert. it doesn't mean that your opinion is based in facts. Mr. Roberts. It's not based on the facts. Mr. Roberts. I am a politician, I will not go into that discussion now. I, what, uh, I, I want mean to make a point what, now. what do you mean? Are you making a point, point that has nothing to do with being a politician or not? We're having Mr. a discussion Mr. about the situation in Viewfort and as it has existed for a very long time. You, you know what you want me to say to you, Mr. Robert? No, I don't know. You are all correct in what you say, and I have my opinion, and I have voiced my opinion. Can I move to the other point that I want to make? You're the moderator. Go ahead, go ahead. Okay, the other point I want to make, Mr. Robert, is that the vote of no confidence that mm. you have spoken about and I've listened to you very carefully, right? Mm -hmm. I think, right... And that is what I would have done if I was in your position. I'm just being very, very me. If I was in your position, uh. a vote of no confidence against my leader, I would be tonight, right, putting out the best of my leader. And I would leave the other leader alone. Because you know what you're doing right now there, I don't think it is going to be profitable. I just say so because if I and others have to take a defense as leaders to leader versus our present leader and Dr. Kennedy Anthony, it is to be a very good one. And I encourage maybe you put, you try to have a, you have a, you have a, a, a very good, um, how you call that, um, Rapport. put out some debate with, where people can vote uh, as to who is best in terms of leadership. Now, let me just come to the vote of no confidence, uh, before I lose my point. Mm -hmm. The vote of no confidence is against the Prime Minister. Mm -hmm. And there is a lot of things and the behavior, attitude, the, 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 the his, 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 um, is working in Parliament, the statements he makes today and tomorrow says the players, and has confused us so much that we are taking on the Prime Minister. It is not the, the rest of the, the debate there, and the vote will go wherever it goes. But the fact is, and the best thing that could happen to St. Russia is that we're going to have a debate on the leadership. And if you said, and all what you try to play about Dr. Kenny I want to say that. I didn't try to play anything. I, hey, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, caller. Mm. I didn't try to play anything. You I played, it. hold on a second, hold on, let, hold on a second, man. I didn't try 
to play anything or say anything i played dr kenny anthony in his own words by his own mouth very well but let me make my point very well and if dr anthony said all of these and we had a guy joseph right in the house of parliament right we had a, we had a richard frederick we had other members we had um, my brother Stephen C. King in the House of Parliament. You have 30 seconds. At that call. time, at that time, none of them, and even the country, did not have any problem in all of those statements that Dr. Kenny Jenkins uh, made. To compare these statements as to the foot of no confidence and the cost that the foot of no confidence is going to take, I don't think that this was profitable. About. I don't think that it was right. I don't think that it is good. We should concentrate now. If I was seconds. Telling you, I'm telling you, old face, bold face from my heart. I would have been telling my nation and I'll be telling my, my the supporters and others how good my prime minister is. I would be devoting my prime minister and I would leave the, 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 what the other one said that is gone already. I would be moving forward. Have okay, thank you very much, Carlo. Thank you. Have a good night. <laughs> Folks, I, I, um, I, I don't know. Some, sometimes some people pref prefer to be completely oblivious to what is staring them in the face. What you can describe as denial, and I'm not talking about a river in Africa. It's denial. And this last caller is talking about Alan Chastney vis-a-vis Kenny Anthony. That's fine. But regardless of what Kenny Anthony says, and regardless of what Alan Chastney says, what we have to look at is what's happening on the ground. What is happening to the economy? What is happening to unemployment? What is happening to the tourism numbers? What is happening to St. Lucia's credit rating? What is happening to healthcare in St. Lucia? What is happening to our tourism industry vis-a-vis -vis the renovation or the construction of a new terminal in Viewfort? What is important to take note of is the cruise ship port which is coming to Viewfort. And so many other things. What is important to take note of is the reduction in VAT. And with that reduction, notwithstanding all the naysayers and the noise made by the opposition, the government is now taking in more taxes as a result of the reduction in VAT than it did before. Good night. You're on the air. Yes. Good evening. Good night, sir. Did I just hear Salty ask for the nation to vote? as to who is a better leader yeah, between Chastley and Kenny. Yeah. That's what he said. I, uh, that, Paul, I, I actually heard that, though. I didn't even really give that much credence. Isn't he aware that we just had a general election? Uh, exactly. Where Kenny was the leader exactly. of the other party? Exactly. But the people got it wrong, caller. Don't forget that. When Kenny Anthony is voted out of office, the people don't know what they're about. They've been mama guide. But when he gets in... The people did the right thing. The same people. One moment they deck deck, the next mm. time they smart. I, I just wanted to know whether that was what I actually heard. Well, I think that's what he was alluding to. <laughs> okay. Thank you very much for calling. Uh, you, go ahead, Champagne. Champagne has been itching there ever since to say something. No, no, no. I'm trying to get a, a promo out. Your microphone, is it on? I'm trying to get a promo out there. That's what I'm trying to do, so. It's not, I'm not itching. I'm trying to get something out there for the people of Senate to say something to do with National Day. Is that okay? Of course. Go ahead. Uh, the return of National Day Shuvair from 4 a.m. On December 13th, Gracie Paul and Grace Pig at George the Fifth Park from 10 a.m. Colonel Racing from 12 noon at the Castries Harbor. The Skateboard Exhibition at George the Fifth Park from 12 noon. Cycling around the city circuit from 2 p.m. Tours and Masquerade. The Grand Street Party on Lower John Compton Highway from 6 p.m. Join in and celebrate National Day 2018. The return. Persons are also invited to attend. And the Mayor's Parade and Mayor's Mass at
at 8 a.m. on December 13th. National Day activities brought to you by the Office of the Mayor and the Castries Constituency Council. This event is sponsored by Bounty Rum, Peter Bear, Events and Lucia, Cox and Company, Digicel, Winfresh, Phone Bay, Peter and Company, Lazy Lagoon, Cox and Lucia, First National Bank, Flow, Meat Express, Blue Waters, and Will Rock. Yes, folks. So you hear it there. All what's happening in the Castries area for National Day, 13th of December. Coming up pretty soon, much sooner than you think. But folks, you know, this is, you know, the reason why I've decided to talk about this vote of no confidence tonight is not to, to make a row row out of it, but because it is a sig it's historic. This doesn't happen every day. This goes on the books. But surprisingly, I think we will see a twist in or with this vote of no confidence in that it will be a historic lashin. It will be a virtual parliamentary lolobef in the back of the opposition, in the back of Philip Pierre, in the back of Kenny Anthony, in the back of Moses Jabatis, in the back of Sean Edwards, and in the back of Alva Baptiste. Because history will decide, and with us knowing the evidence which is currently available, that there are absolutely no grounds or unsubstantiated grounds for this vote of no confidence. A vote of no confidence is the last straw. And St. Lucia is nowhere near moving in the direction of the last straw for this drowning Labour Party. And this just follows with a line of absurdities since they lost at the 2016 elections to try to sully the credibility of this government to try to give the impression that things are oh so bad it's other people are dying oh my gosh like the island is going down the drain like everything is haywire that the economy is bad i mean every figure everything that this government has reported in their success since taking up office has been refuted. I mean, it, it has become comical now. It has become comical. And what is happening with this supposed vote of no confidence by Philip J. Pierre is that unlike other times, what will happen as a result of that with the sitting of the House when this motion will be debated is that the opposition will give the government again in fact an opportunity where almost everyone will be captivated will be captured to watching to listening to reading about what will go on in the house on that day and they have given the government the perfect audience, the riveted audience to hear firsthand all that this government has done. Because in defense of itself, the government is going to say what it has done to the contrary of what the opposition is proposing or suggesting. So the opposition there in the enrage attitude to try to sully the credibility of the government and by 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 extension saint lucia mm -hmm. will deliver to the government a captive audience to hear exactly because a lot has been going on that a lot of people aren't caring about you know when people it's just okay let me give you an example you have this friend you went to school with champagne. Mm. 
It's nice girl. I know you like nice girls. Everybody does. <laughs> you too. <laughs> it better not be ugly. <laughs> But you know, that's subjective. Yeah. You know, like they say in St. Lucia, every bread has its cheese. Mm -hmm. So, who doesn't look too good to you to another man? That's oh, the that's queen. That's princess, of course. Yeah, okay. So, you haven't seen, you, you are you growing up in the house with someone and that person is putting on size or that person is getting losing weight or something. You don't even notice because it's happening so gradually before your eyes. But you have a friend, a relative, who's gone away. <clears throat> yeah. Gone for 10, 15 years. You have not seen in a while. The last memory you have of that person is whatever state they were in, whether they were big, whether they were slim, mm -hmm. skinny, whatever. At that time. And now you see them 20 years later, the contrast in what you see. Mm -hmm. Whoa! Huge difference. Same thing, just like so many people in St. Lucia, they see the roads being fixed little by little. You know, they get accustomed to it. They don't pay too much attention. Things are happening in the economy. Mm -hmm. But the indicators on the progress of the government. You see, a lot of people say, Oh, Shasneka D, oh, the economy is better. And, and then, of course, the cameras will go by the market. Yeah. Tourism is up. It's not trickling down. That is a disservice to the people mm -hmm. to feed them this baloney, this drivel, this absolute nonsense. And I gave the analogies before about you getting a raise. It doesn't yeah, fix everything yeah, right away. Exactly. It takes a while to trickle down. Whether you like it or not, whether you make noise, that's the way it is. Mm -hmm. Right? So we must stop being afraid of people complaining. Because you will be the best man in the world. Yeah, and people will still complain. And we all know the story. That's for sure. From primary school about the man, his son, and the donkey. Mm -hmm. You put the little boy on there. He'll say he's a young boy. Why you don't let your father That's get on right. the donkey? Yeah. Another one will say donkey working all day. Yeah. Why don't you let the donkey take a break? Mm -hmm. And <laughs> well, it, it does listen to me. Eventually it doesn't, the donkey was carried. Listen to me. <laughs> it doesn't matter what you do. Yeah. There okay. Will be criticism all the time. So, one thing I can say for sure is that the former administration of the SLP which was voted out of office in 2016, June the 6th, 2016, were not able, clearly unable to accomplish what they're demanding that this government fixes oh, immediately. Point. Fix St. Jude's now! Yeah. Open OKU! Okay, mm -hmm. The airport this and the roads that and education that. They spent about a million a year in desilting the rivers in Kaldisak and all around the place. This government has spent more in this one year than they spent all the years they yeah, were in office. Sure. And you see what and has you happened? See the results. You see the results. Folks, so much rain has fallen and yeah. called the sack flood. The Bexon area, I was surprised. Bexon flood? No. We knew any little rain you heard before. Oh, Plus, yeah. like a flood. Mm -hmm. huh? What about education? How much money was allocated to fix schools? Hmm? How much were they allocating every year? How much did they allocate in the budget that they left in 2016? And how much has been spent so far this year just for fixing the schools when they were there on a yearly basis? One million. One million in the last budget to fix schools. One million dollars. All the schools are wrong. Yeah. So far this year, the government has spent, what, over three million? But vote of no confidence, right? Everything that you'll fail to do is on the mend. But vote of no I mean, this is, a f this is a farce. This is a farce. You know what I'm thinking? I know you just said that, uh, you know, St. Lucians will be glued to the television. And I know that for, that's, for, you know, that's a fact. But it's going to be like entertainment. Seriously. I believe St. Lucians is just going to be glued to the television. Just they, they, to see the folks, I encourage... What it, of course. Hey, hey, Champagne, I encourage everyone mm -hmm. in St. Lucia, everyone, 
to watch that debate, yep. to listen to it on the radio, mm. wherever, online, the government website, Facebook, NTN, it'll be on TV. It's going to be here, broadcast from here. Well, it'll be live on here. Mm -hmm. I encourage every single person. So, avant you di say gouvernement seulement, SLP is mwen vle zot kouté. UWP mwen vle zot tout kouté. Sa important pour saint lucie because it is historic. That's what I was saying. It's historic. How many times? Only once before? Yeah, I think there was once something. or twice. I think there was something back in eighty two, in nineteen eighty two. Seventeen eighty two. Yes, yes, yeah, that was yeah. um um when you had the um yeah, the, 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 the the what is it, the tripartite Lama. commission yeah. or whatever, and you had yeah. Mikey Pilgrim right. being the interim prime minister. Mm -hmm. I remember that the nighttime meetings at um oh, yeah. the prime minister's official residence at Plas Latte Show. That's right. Alan Luizzi and George yeah. Odlum and Peter Josie right. and all of these guys there. Right? Things was hot. And we're all witnessing history in the making. And we will all witness the trouncing of that shameless motion in the house. But I encourage all St. Lucians to watch and listen because you should listen to the arguments of the opposition. Yeah. But you should also listen to the arguments of the government. That's right. And the government will have the opportunity then to say everything that they've been able to do. And a lot of what many people have ignored, a lot of what many people may have had drowned out because of so much propaganda and That's noise, right. mm -hmm. noise, you will get to hear it. And it will not be filtered. It will not be twisted. But one of the things that I hope, since people want the Prime Minister to answer, one of the things that I hope is that maybe Kenny Anthony will finally have some respect for the people of St. Lucia yeah. and answer questions about Greinberg. Greinberg, that's for sure. Yeah. Maybe we can get some real missing pieces to the puzzle, to the story of Jufali. Of Jufali. Impact. You know? Hmm. By way by impact, the report. Hmm. The maybe report. we can get something as to some information as to why a learned call of a prime minister and a lawyer, a constitutional lawyer, like they like to say. I don't know where they get that constitutional lawyer thing from, but a lawyer like Dr. Kenny Anthony, who's supposed to have had so many years of experience under his belt, who lectured or lectures mm -hmm. law could have prejudiced the outcome of this whole impacts thing by revealing information from it and coming to conclusions about it in a speech to the nation. When I heard that speech, I saw it live. Mm -hmm. Well, when it was, it was released. released. Mm -hmm. And I was shocked back then. And I'm even more shocked now because we continue to be in this to my boy <laughs> this is a to my boy that we in there with him box. Yeah. We in a to my boy. When Philip La Corbinier came on, he was interviewed by Shalton Daniel. Yeah. And yeah. the statements he made about the DPP at the time and that he couldn't give the evidence to her. The evidence could be she could say when she wants to see it and we put it in a room for her to have a look at it. When the law clearly says the evidence has to be handed to the DPP. Mm -hmm. And I have that recording. I have that recording. A long time ago. I felt it was so significant at the time when I was way up in the cold north. Yeah. I couldn't believe my ears. I could not believe it. Minister of National Security at the time said that he couldn't even, in essence, that he couldn't even trust the DPP. Imagine. That the DPP, as far as he's concerned, could not have that evidence to herself. I will make arrangements for the DPP. So, Lacobs is the one who had the evidence. He's the one who decided when the law clearly says that he's not even to be involved in that. 
but no confidence in this current administration. I don't know, folks, I, I think I've neglected our people in the diaspora. I'd like to say good night to you all again. But if you'd like to email, we'll go until 10.30 Champagne. That's, That's right. another 20 minutes. That's right. Because once we go after the 10, yeah, might as well make it a nice of round course. figure. We're all right. We're all right. The email address to send your questions, comments, or whatever you'd like to say, is info at keepingitreal dot lc info at keeping it real dot lc let us know quick do you, but do you have anything on regarding st jude's i know we have had some huge equipment that went over there in, in regards to clearing up the, the well area. well that that is what has been done mm -hmm. but but you know um let's be realistic because we know that about work in st lucia mm -hmm. we know that about being on the job in st lucia we know that especially about big projects right you know St. Lucia already. Mm -hmm. Christmas coming. Oh, yeah. Everything's going to be at So, a, uh, in the next uh, space. National Day 13, that's oh, it. Oh, yeah. Nobody's working Nobody's for doing it. Nobody's working for Just that's like for around sure. Carnival, too. You're right. That's for so, sure. everything winds down, and then after the New Year, that things right. pick back up again. That's that's, that's, sure. that's what's happening there. That is St. Lucia. Because if you have to mobilize any major thing happening now and then to wind down for the season... It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. No. It, it doesn't make sense. You're right. So... We are going to see the works begin um, in January. Mm -hmm. We're going to see the finalizing of the racetrack January. The horse is coming in soon, Champagne. Let me say something here. Yeah. Horse I mean, is coming I've in seen, soon. I've seen a few racetracks in my time, and it's a very, very beautiful facility. Now, the propose of the first race is supposed to be 17th of, of February. February. Yes. So we're talking, let's see, less than three. two months. Two months. Exactly. Well, was two it? Months. We're in less, December. We're in January, December. February. Two months. So we're looking at two months. Yeah. Two um, and a half months. Two, two, two months. And a yeah. Week. And I two go months. by there every once in a little while just to see the progress of the mm -hmm. facility. And I know it's really moving steady. It's rapidly moving. But when, what about the grandstand? I mean, what these things ain't gonna take long, you know, yeah, Champagne. Well, these things are coming. Yeah, they coming. I mean, I, I, you know, I'm not doubting that it's gonna happen with the, during with, for the date, but I've seen some racetracks, and I know there's a lot of work has to be put in. But then, if you have the manpower, I know they might probably make the time that that first race date because the grandstand is a huge facility. It needs to go up in record time. Well, I'll tell you something. I don't want to preempt anyone, mm -hmm. but um. I think the people of St. Lucia are going to be exposed very soon. Mm -hmm. Well, it's coming to the new airport, the new terminal. Oh, yeah, that is, that is big. And I don't even want to talk about it. Yeah, that is big. I don't even want to talk about it. Somebody just messaged me and said, I want to come down for that, the first horse race. Why? They want to come down. But I'm telling you, folks, you better start making arrangements. Are you saying someone from overseas? From the U.S. Oh, okay. Somebody All in right. the U.S. just... And there's a friend of mine who gets around, um, <clears throat> especially in the Miami area. And he said to me that the horse racing fraternity down there has been excited about the racetrack in Viewford. Wow. Absolutely mm -hmm. excited. And one of the things that, um, I mean, the stupid, you know, sometimes when I hear the nonsense, the abject stupidity that is peddled to our people for them to swallow and regurgitate. And then sometimes people, you expect to be a little more circumspect, a little more sensible, a little more practical. They go out and repeat that mindless nonsense without even thinking Folks, let me tell you something. People tell you, oh, people are going to come out from the States or wherever to come horse racing. Uh, people, St. Lucian's Panla, St. Lucian's this, that. Folks, are people understanding what horse racing is about? And I'll give you a simple example. Look at cricket. When the Indians come in, how many Indians come in? in? As a matter of fact, the very same... St. Lucia Labour Party was in office when Cricket World Cup mm -hmm. came to St. Lucia, of course. 
And what did they tell people? Put extension on your house. That's for sure. Go get a loan. So loans. many people coming in. <laughs> That's right. You hear right? Mm -hmm. you, do, you see, you have to look at the examples that you have there. Build on your house. Go get a loan. Bring in materials. Mm -hmm. We'll give you duty free and all kind of thing. We'll have cruise ship in the harbor. People will be That's sleeping right. because they don't have enough rooms in St. Lucia. Remember all that talk? I remember. remember that, of course. Good night, caller. You're on the air. Let's keep it real. Good night, buddy. Good night, buddy. I hear the call again because the boy ain't calling. Mm. Who say nobody ain't calling? What are you talking about? Nobody ain't calling. Who's that calling and say that that before it's developed? Well, well, I ain't worrying about that. Is, some people in in I think they more in the night. No, oh, he's from there though. He's from down there. I don't think you ever left before. Anyhow, a friend of mine said the picture of the racetrack from Jamaica. So there's some Jamaican friends. And the Jamaicans say they want they want the racetrack. They want that racetrack in Jamaica. And they want they want Shaq to come down there and be prime minister. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Have a good night, man. All yeah. right, thanks. Thank you. Some of you guys are real jokers too. The comedians, man, they gotta be dumbest. <laughs> All right. Thank you, caller. Come on, man. Yeah, you know, getting back to what I was saying, folks. Remember Cricket World Cup? Yeah. 20, 2007. You know, how people come in into St. Lucia for cricket, but the anticipation, the marketing, the hype, and what the recommendations and the advice was from the St. Lucia Labour Party in office at the time was if you have a house, fix up a room. Yeah, I remember that. Go get a loan. Oh, yeah. How many people got stuff? In fact, so many people, some people, certain people bought materials and whatever, stockpiled because they were getting the duty-free concessions mm -hmm. to sell afterwards mm -hmm. at regular prices. Right? Why it working for cricket? It can't work for anything else. As far as I'm concerned, in horse racing, there's more money. But what do we witness when there's big cricket games? Oh, yeah. The Indians reach all the way of over course, here. Ever heard of the Bami Army? Mm -hmm. What about the people who support the Brits? Mm -hmm. the, the, the the English team? Oh, yeah. Or Pakistan? Mm -hmm. You don't see those people in the crowd? Even here, in the limited way with the women's cricket, didn't you see the English supporters in the crowd? I mean, we, we, didn't you listen. see Sri Lankans in the crowd? Oh, yeah. I watch the Kentucky Derby every year. It is the first Saturday in May, every, mm -hmm. and I and I watch it because I love horse racing. As a matter of fact, I've been to a couple of horse races, and two hundred and fifty thousand people are at Churchill Downs. Mm -hmm. Two hundred by St. Lucia's population, almost twice. Yep, yep. At Churchill Downs, mm -hmm. just to witness a few races during the course of the day, and there's that one main race. Mm -hmm. Now. We would not compare Churchill Downs with, with down in V4. But could you imagine you have a, a special cup? Let's say mm -hmm. the President's Cup or the Prime Minister's Cup. Mm -hmm. You have horses coming out of the United States, coming out of England. They will come with their followings. Yeah, absolutely. They absolutely. will come with their people. Well, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something, Champagne. I was at Belmont Park mm -hmm. on June the... 10th or the 11th. Well, yeah, that was the second leg of when, the Triple Crown. No, that was, that the, was final. the final leg. Okay. When Justify won mm -hmm. the Triple Crown. Right. Belmont Park holds, I think, something like 190 to 100,000 people. Yeah. And that place there, load. Electric. Let me tell you something. Let me, listen, man. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. When you see those horses coming around that turn yeah, there, these noises, I've seen it. But, but 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 with people wagering on there, yeah, the screens all in yep. in throughout the place, yeah, and the betting going on, yes, sir. and I mean, it, what better place than Saint mm -hmm. Lucia? Mm -hmm. People come for the lime. I'm telling you, this is people come for the lime. It's a social yeah. event, just like here for cricket is a lime and all of that. Let me say the, something. Yeah. Hold on, man. Hold that. <laughs> right. When you see those horses kick off, man, mm -hmm. and they gone around the first turn, man, and they in the back stretch and coming around, and, yes, sir. and people start to ball. Boy, 
Absolutely. Let me tell you something. Absolutely. I, that was our first show. Mm -hmm. Right? When people start to ball, man, it was unbelievable, you know. It was unbelievable, the noise mm -hmm. in that place. Right? You, you, you have the recording of Justify when it... I'm, I'm just trying, trying to, to see if I, if I have it here. And I don't. So, me, unfortunately... Oh, you don't have it. And I don't have it here. But, folks, let me tell you something. That is something else to behold, to be present at. It is absolutely amazing. The most exciting thing about a horse racing, uh, when those horses come around the final turn and they're heading down that stretch, yeah. the level of electricity, the, 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 the noises, and you have guys running across from the outfield, you know, from one Yeah, people running to see, to, to see. get to the... Oh, oh, let me tell listen, you something. That is one of the most beautiful things you could ever see. For those of you who have not seen I have seen it, and it's really, really, very, very exciting. Very, very exciting. I know, I, you know, I'm not saying it's going to be on that level instantly or immediately it's going to be on that level. But in time, I believe the horse is going to be very, very exciting down there in Beaufort. Good night, you're on the air. Let's keep it real. Horse racing is very international, very international, you know. Very, very international. For instance, in England, there's a Greyroni and Alex Ferguson all those guys. Brian Lara, all those guys. Horse racing is very international. It's all over the world. Oh, yeah. Horse yeah. racing is not a piece of sport. That's right. Horse racing is international. Big it hasn't arrived in solutions yet. It has a following. Yep. It's the world. Yeah. It has a following. Big, big money making a fair. Yes, sir. That horse racing track is a great injection. Couldn't put Tanusha. People don't even know that. Yeah, let me tell you something. It, horse racing has a and, huge and, following. And, and, and Tanusha has a gem. A gem. Second to none in the Caribbean. Second hmm. to none. Yep. Let me start speaking of those people flocking in the court. My name is that person. When next will you when next are you you gonna be in St. Lucia? I'll be there very soon. For Christmas? I just got there. Okay. <laughs> okay. okay. Yes, sir, man. All right, I, my I, brother. I wanna I wanna I wanna say to um to um the infrastructure minister. Mm. Mm. Man, this man did a positive job, did a great job, man. Yeah. Great job, man. Great job. All right. As a matter of fact, the whole team is going to be doing a great job. Yes, sir. Okay? Take care, man. All right. You okay, have a good then. night. All right, buddy. Yeah. Man, let me tell you something. As I was saying, Champion. So what were you doing at when, when, when those horses came around the pine? Man, and told, listen to me, yeah, man. I know you were rooting for Justify because oh, you were yeah, that crew. Of, of course. So you were, you were pumping your... Man, <laughs> let me tell you something. I don't even know what I was doing. I was yeah. bawling like a cow, man. <laughs> but let's... um. Let's let's hear a little bit of this. I hope this is the right one that I got here. Mm -hmm. um, of of the final turn. Yes. Yeah. Let's see. We'll get some commentary on that. Takes. And it was a very good beginning for Justify, who goes immediately to the early lead in the race to the first turn. So it will be justified to set the pace here. And there on the outside goes Restoring Hope, the other Bob Baffert trainee, who's wide into that turn and in running in second position. Right in behind them in third is Bravazo. Noble Indy is off the pace. And then on the inside comes Tenfold. The opening quarter mile was a swift one. 23.37 seconds. A very fast pace for Justify, who will lead the field on to the backstretch here with his stablemate, Restoring Hope, sitting in second. And on the inside, Bravazo is third. Noble Indy is fourth. Tenfold fifth. Vino Rosso sixth. And Blended Citizen on the outside. Followed by Hofberg and Free Drop Billy. Gronkowski is last. They've slowed things down a bit. 48.11 was the half. That's just a bit faster than American Pharoah went three years ago. Justify and Mike Smith, the Kentucky Derby and Preakness winner, head up the backstretch in the Belmont Stakes with a link lead. Restoring hope on the outside is second. Bravazo is down toward the inside. Nobody is next. Stretch. Vino Rosso is close up running in fifth. But still had the noise, five right? lengths off the lead. Three there. quarters went in one minute. 13.21 seconds. Halfway home in the Belmont. And then comes tenfold on the inside of Blended Citizen. 
Hofberg is drafting in behind horses. Six links off the lead. Free drop Billy and Gronkowski, the last of them all. And Mike Smith and Justify make their run into the far turn. They've got a two-length lead. Restoring hope is back to a ride as Vino Rosso begins to rev it up on the outside. Bravazzo is down toward the rail. They've run a mile in 138.09 seconds. Justify is the leader, but it's just a half-length advantage here. Vino Rosso comes under a ride. Mike Smith has not asked Justify to go just yet. Justify a length lead here as they come to the top of the stretch. Vino Rosso is second. Hofberg comes on the scene, and Gronkowski has cut the corner. Final turn. They're into the stretch, and Justify comes roaring home to a raucous Belmont Park with one furlong to run. Gronkowski and Hofberg trying to run him down. Vino Rosso is fourth, a sixteenth to go. Justify is still there. Justify from Gronkowski. He's just perfect. And tell me that is not excitement. Folks, you hear that crowd? <laughs> you hear that crowd? Boy. And let me tell you something, man. People have to have reference. Mm -hmm. And too often we allow others yeah. to prey on our ignorance. Mm -hmm. And true. ignorance does not necessarily mean you're stupid. Yeah, yeah. On lack of knowledge, on lack of experience, on lack of exposure. Yes, right. Let me tell you something, man. The people will come. Of course they will. If they come in for cricket, exactly. you think they ain't going to come for exactly. that? Exactly. And when you see you have horse racing, a lot of what comes out of the horse racing, the money that's being made is outside, you know. Of course. The hotel stays. Mm -hmm. The tourists traveling. You know how much of an attraction that is for people who planning vacations, who... How many people come to St. Lucia to see Kassav from Martinique and other islands exactly. during jazz or yeah, any other event because. because it's easier, it's cheaper to see them here? Mm -hmm. Huh? Yeah. And they need a a, a ticket sleep. in St. Lucia for jazz to go and see some of the big names that you see here for almost nothing because yeah. it's almost nothing That's compared right. to what you would well, pay exactly. in the mm -hmm. States. And all those people need places to sleep. Hey man, they listen to, to me. Food. Listen, let's stop praying. You know, these, these, these guys out there, the people, yeah. the surrogates, the, the satellites, mm -hmm. who try to mama guy people with nonsense, you know, they need to stop this foolishness. Because people just, you hear stuff, folks, think before you, you, yeah, yeah, you absorb, let this thing yeah. absorb yeah, into you. Yeah, yeah. You know, I mean, the hotels, the tour operators, the taxis, mm -hmm. the 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 Vendor. souvenir vendors, mm -hmm. the, the the restaurants. Ah, come on. And let me say come this, on, Mr. Theo King will not just come and just put a horse racing track and say, "Let me wait for somebody to organize a race." These things are already done, prepared stuff. Stuff is already done. L listen to me. Listen to me. Race is listen already me, organized. Champagne. Listen to me, Champagne. Although we've. But it's all part of the development that we're talking about and the concerted effort to demonize everything that's being done in the South, to demonize everything that this government does, right. to demonize anybody who wants to speak in support yeah. of what the government is doing. Mm -hmm. And we have to realize that if we continue with the same old nonsense, because it was nonsense, mm -hmm. because it didn't make sense and it didn't result in the promises that were being made. So you cannot expect, let, let us be reasonable, you cannot expect to take advice from the very same people yeah. who had the ability to do it for who 20 it years, done. did not get it done, yeah. and now they want to dictate yeah, to you how, how to get it done yeah. when or simply because you want to go about getting to that objective in a different manner than they did, I mean, what foolishness is this? The people of St. Lucia have constantly said, what you're doing ain't working. That's right. So let somebody who's let doing... Somebody you know, there's this, there's, this, um, there's this 
saying, you know, let me get it for you. Let me get it for you. Yeah. Well, listen to me. You know that guy, the announcer. I really wish I had that talent to be the announcer down there at V4 at that racetrack. Could you imagine Champion um, um, calling the races? I better know, but could you I, imagine me calling well, those give races? Give us a sample. Give us a sample. <laughs> Well, listen, that would be something. That would be an honor for me to call those races, especially the big one, the main stage, the main race. And you have champagne in the booth calling that. That would be something. Okay, here it is, <laughs> folks. Confucius say, man who says it cannot be done should not interrupt man doing it. That's true. So if you say it can't be done, yeah. if well, you've been unable to do it, why are you interrupting yes. or interfering with the man who's doing it? Exactly. That is just like a guy that wants to talk politics and he never goes to a voting booth. You should not say a word if you're not voting. Don't say anything. Let me say that again, folks. Man who says it cannot be done should not interrupt man doing it. That's right. Well, if you say it can't be done, then you have nothing to say. Yeah, you just sit back and watch the man fail just sure. like you. Exactly. You just said it couldn't be done. That is that is the classic mm -hmm. explanation or depiction of the SLP. Yeah. They say something can't be done. Oh, you reduce VAT by two and a half. Yeah, that can't be done. We'll, we'll be at a loss. We'll be worth the 50 million bucks. Yeah. It, look, it happened. Turn around to be more than 50 You million. say we can't do the airport and it's not going to work out. Well, yeah. The airport coming on. Yeah. You're giving in less to a car. You couldn't do the hospital in the years you were there. Yeah. We barely halfway through this yeah. government, but you, it can't be done. Yeah. Everything can be done. You can't do it. You can't do this. You can't do that. So what the government there for? I tell you something. These guys have a pattern, you know. You know, um, the guy over there in yeah. Saint Vincent built a brand new international airport and didn't construct a hotel. Well, Could I you imagine know, that? I don't know, eh? So it's just like the guys giving OKU a name and couldn't get it open. Well, that was that was all a e e e elections bluff. Of course it was. So mama guy. Good night, you're on the air. Let's keep it real. Well, tell me, I've got a biggest joke in my pocket. Let me tell you, let me, let me tell you a few. No, no, no party in the world, no leader in the world, tries to attack your, your leading businessmen. Yeah. No party in the world does that. No, no prime minister does that. Yeah. And I live in three countries. And when the, when the election comes up, you know, you know, you have neither party talking about um, this party or this, 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 that, this, they leave them alone. Because they're, they're, they're the leading businessmen in the country. They're the pillars of the country. They will take you down. They will take you down. People a guy like, like, like um, Mr. Michael Shaft say, over 60 years of service of St. Lucia, mm -hmm. one of the main pillars of St. Lucia, and you're talking about, you're talking about, um, this election is, is SLP, is the SLP versus UWP, is SLP versus the Shaft Are you nuts? Well, hold, hold on there, caller. Just, just saying something here. A number of St. Lucians know this. And I found it out not too long ago, and I'm, I'm referring to Michael Shastney, the Prime Minister's father. I, I found it out eh, a few months ago, right? Because if you're not really involved, you don't know. You know. But a number of St. Lucians know that um, Michael Shastney gave shares to or show, sold shares to all of his employees at um what was it julian's or yes. what was it yeah. uh, right i i think uh, did that ever make the news or anything but i found out about it anyway and you have a number of st lucians who have an investment and they are business owners in essence if you have shares in a business mm -hmm. and that's one of the things and how many st lucian businessmen have ever given their employees significant shares in the business so, I mean, Michael Chastney's record speaks for itself. I don't think there's anybody who is alive now who has not been touched or knows about the involvement of Michael Chastney in, in business in, in St. Lucia, in mm -hmm. his straight case. You know, Colin? I'm not a Kenyan. You're never a Kabawe. You're never a Kabawe. You're 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 a Kabawe.
<laughs> well, I wonder where that name came from, Kabawe. What do you know? Well, uh, a cabaret, cabaret. Is, uh, no, 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 cabaret. A cabaret is where you have women dancing. Oh, the cabaret, cabaret. Right, that's right. right. In the Western movies, that's you see right. That. So they, exactly. they translate like a saloon. that saloon. That's yes, right. Yes. Oh, okay. So it's so in the part where in the French yeah, cabaret. They mess it up. Yeah, that's right. right. So, so, but in in our experience, seventy years, sixty to seventy years. Business man, business Senusha. The man knows every damn glass in Senusha. That's right. The man is the, the pillar of Senusha. That's, That's right. Every day. That man. I have yeah. said that on numerous occasions. All right, my brother. Okay, thank you very much, Carla. Good evening. All right. Yes, yeah, yes, the Kabaway, Kabaway. Yes, yes, so yes. you see, but in our, in our, in but our, um, you. what in, uh, well, not interpretation, mm. but in our, vo in our version, That's our right. declassé version, That's right. where you get a shot of white and yeah. you wash that down with <laughs> more white. So, yeah. Yeah, it's but cabaret. you never see the guys when they drink in the white in the cabaret. Yeah. When they throw that Denros down, the oh, white, they still yeah. have Denros, man? Yeah, there's Denros. Yeah, throw that white down. When, when they say, ah! And yeah. they shake their head. They love that with the chest. Lick the lips. Lick the lips. A chest of water. Good night. You're on the air. Let's keep it real. Yeah, good night. Are you saying that we're going to join Barbados men with our horse racing track? Are we going to join Barbados? Barbados is going to want to get involved in our horse racing track. The horse racing track that we're building in Viewfort is leaps and bounds ahead of anything that Barbados has. That the garrison? Okay. Nah, man. That Oh yeah, yeah, absolutely, absolutely, uh, totally yeah. different class of. I of I will you to that, 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 that. Well, I, I think well, if anybody knows anything about horse racing, they can tell about tracks and stuff like they can tell. But it's it's going to be total the the size of the horse racing track itself is from the information I have about exactly the same or a little longer than the horse racing track at Belmont in New York where Justify won the Triple Crown. Okay. So it's it's uh, world world um world class world class, world standard. World standard. Okay. Yeah. So what does we have in terms of that world class? Like apart from our uh, status of number one honeymoon. What we gonna well we have quite a number of hotels that are real like um in Viewford there, what's it called? Um Overland Jade Island. Mountain. Jade Mountain so far. I mean it's it's real classic. Um we have quite a number of hotels that are very very world yeah. class. Um, uh, educational system of healthcare. Okay. I mean is that up to this? I mean we're gonna take care of that, right? Well it's well it's well it's getting there by all indications. I mean I'm not saying that it is and I don't see the signs. I, I see quite uh, remarkable or encouraging signs that our healthcare system in the next two, three years is going to be world class. Absolutely. Yeah, we don't know anything about, about the gambling sector. I mean, the, people stop talking about it right now. It's accepted as you know, part of St. Rosa. Maybe that's what's getting St. Rosa's book. Well, I, 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 don't know, I don't know about that. Okay, I haven't yeah, heard too much yeah. about gambling it being a major problem. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think there are people who are hooked on those gambling machines in some places I've, I've heard about a few people but i haven't heard it becoming such a pervasive problem in st lucia yeah. you know. anyway man it is is really an issue here right now so i guess you know we, we probably see how, how the risk track will contribute to to you know maybe we get in to somewhere where we can boost ourselves and say well we did a good job yeah right? well are, are you are you going to attend the race, um, caller? Uh, never. No? Never, never, never. You don't have to go down there to gamble, you know. You could go there just for the excitement, the entertainment. You don't have to bet on, on any horse. Yeah, never go to a, race, a horse racing track. All right. All right, my friend. Have okay. a good evening. Thank you very much for calling. All right. You know, I wanted to say something in that regard because a horse racing track is a facility. There's restaurants in there. Mm -hmm. There's some of them have some plays where you could just sit around and just you. you yeah, know, okay. It's like okay. a it's like it's an entertainment like a mall. Yeah, exactly, it's like a mall. You do not have to place a bet on any. Oh, house. No, 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 you don't have to. You, you don't know, have to place a bet on. Just sit down there, buy your popcorn, buy yes, your drinks, whatever, drink, hot dog, and whatever. Watch the horses run. Horse, mm -hmm. watch the, Maybe they might the even race. have rotis in there too. They might. There's everything. Yeah. So you don't necessarily have to place a bet on anything. No, 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 you don't. You know, it's a facility, an, an entertainment facility. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's, anyway. it's, it's sports, it's entertainment. Exactly. You know?
Yes, folks. So that's the situation there, folks. Um, all coming back to the vote of no confidence in the government. And I think I'd like to end the show mm -hmm. by repeating to you this saying or oh, a few words from Confucius, although there's a lot of dispute about where that actually came from, who said it, but it doesn't really matter. Folks, it goes like this. Man who says it cannot be done should not interrupt man doing it. That's right. I think that makes quite a bit of sense. That's going to be our last call. That'll caller. be our last call. All right, our final caller. Good night. You're on the air. Let's keep it real. Very sharply, the nice. Hospital is also for family. Family. Your, your family, you know, put your kids there right into the track. Mm -hmm. All yeah. that is, is, is for them. Yeah, yeah, it's an event. You can take the kids out. We've that, man. All right. We've okay. done that. Right. Everybody goes to hospital. Family and everybody, man. That's right. It's okay. a family affair. Okay, right, thank you very much, Carla. Oh, Have a good one. James, all kind of things goes on there. All right, beautiful. Have a good evening, buddy. Okay. Right, right, thanks. See good you night. next Tuesday. God's willing, well. Let me let, let. Oh. Yeah, okay. So, yes, folks. So, Champagne wants to yeah, just let you know about that um, National, National Day, Day affair that's yeah. coming up, you know. Champagne, I suspect, is going to have a lantern for the lantern no, parade. No. Oh, Come on, man. You could tell us. What are you talking? Come on, man. <laughs> have a lantern. lantern you need to be parade. one of the contenders. Me? Yeah, why not? No, no. You, you, you will be walking in a, a lantern. Yes, folks. So we're wrapping it up here. And just so that you, if you missed it, that you hear it again, Confucius say, Man who says it cannot be done should not interrupt man doing it. And that's it, folks. Another episode of Keeping It Real. And we will be with you again next week, Tuesday. Tonight's the 25th episode, Champagne? 24th. 24th? 24th. 24th episode. Almost a half a year. Of Keeping It Real real i'd like to say thank you very much for joining us tonight on keeping it real so i'm norbert williams good night okay folks just uh coming in here just a little bit almost forgot to mention it because we had a caller who had asked a question about a statement made by dr kenny anthony um with regard to the new frontier and the reference to his statement was at an address at the ground turning ceremony for the goods distribution free zone and that was on friday the 11th of september 1998 ironically the same date mm -hmm. as the fire at st jude's hospital okay folks keeping it real again good night